This world shrouded in darkness is ravaged by monsters. Rats the size of cars, though more like wolves. Snakes as big as dragons as long as a train. Ferocious birds as big as airplanes. Still, that's nothing. The problem is the legendary evil creatures who are the real rulers of the world. And humans can only fight in endless despair. Fortunately, a stargate appeared and gave the desperate humanity the last hope. Those who are not lacking in talent have a chance to enter and awaken incredible abilities to become heroes. After all, they are the only ones who can fight back against the monsters, the City of Dawn. This city is located among the rocks, like a civilized island in the wilderness. There are many communities in the city, and one of them is the community of heroes. It was in this community that there was an explosion, or rather a fight. From the front door, one young man pushed the other out with a kick. The mod man landed with a thud right by the fountain. Spitting out blood, the boy tried to call out to his opponent as Fan Bing. The boy was furious and without controlling his thoughts, rebuked his opponent with the fact that 10 years ago, his parents had risked their lives to save him during the disaster. They even accepted him as their own son. With their help, Fong Bing stood awakened. The kindness of these parents was the size of a mountain. Of these parents, still standing on one knee and looking directly at the two men in front of him, the young man confessed that he did not expect the enemy to stab him in the back and try to take away his home even though his parents had disappeared less than a month ago. The young man listened to the rebuke and asked if it was true that he did not understand why he was taking the family property and called the guy B.I. Jin. The young man's opponent looked very fresh and cheerful. And after the rebuke, he began to say that five generations of the B.I. family had lived in the house for over a hundred years. But so what? Don't forget, all the houses in the area belong to the six Keldians of the Awakened. The man standing next to him looked importantly at B.I. Jin and said, He's 18 years old, but he still hasn't awakened his abilities. According to the general rules, those who have not reached the awakened age will lose their right to reside in the awakened community. The guy was covered in sweat as he began to say that as an adopted child, Fang Bing would automatically inherit the right to inherit this mansion. Everything is according to the law. Outrage is unnecessary. The young man shouted that he was not convinced and then blamed the two of them working together. After all, there are many people who have not awakened by the age of 18, but continue to live there. So why should the higher level be him? Asked if this is what his parents get for their sacrifice for the city. The men found these remarks very impertinent, so they threw the guy even further away. Bei Jin had already collapsed on the ground, and the man kept shouting as he laughed. An ordinary person questioned the rules of the six guilds, and even suggested that he wanted to die. After saying all this, the man with glasses turned to Fang Bing, saying that he would insert two guys on top of him and leave first. Then, after a little while, he smirked and asked him not to forget what he had promised him. The guy smiled and waved two fingers a sign that the words were accepted, and then called the man as Mr. Sleep and asked him not to worry, for he would fulfill everything as promised. All this was happening behind a fence outside a large mansion. But the man with glasses had already left, and so the two young men remained there. Seeing that Mr. Song had left, Fang Bing's face changed dramatically. He was clearly happy to be left alone with this guy. Bei Jin at this time was trying to stand up. The moment he was able to do so, his opponent kicked him in the stomach, throwing him further away and causing him tremendous pain. The guy pinned the exhausted young man to the ground with his foot and called him by name, saying something he had forgotten to say. Standing imperiously over this young man, the guy asked if he knew why he was recognized as a genius since childhood, but he was still unable to awaken his class. It was because Fang Bing had started poisoning him little by little since he was 10 years old. The monthly ingestion of the gray crystal lizard poison I was destroying his body. Therefore, the actual skills did not awaken. Pinned to the ground, the young man tried to understand why he did all this. What really hurt the guy was not the fact that he was pinned down, but what he heard. Fang Bing began to smile even more. After all, the guy had asked exactly the body the questions he wanted to answer. The guy said that the houses in that district were built near the Stargate, which is the best and safest place in the entire Dawn City, especially that mansion. And then he corrected himself by saying the same phrase, only it was his mansion. He went on to say that being so close to the gate was a great advantage for his height, and it was also very safe. The pinned guy was more angry and asked if it was true that he had planned this entire plan from the beginning. Bei Jin tried to slowly get up. At this time, his rival was saying that he was an Ilya rank thief, 
so his maximum was to rent an apartment on the outskirts. Then he added that if the young man didn't awaken and his parents died, he would inherit that house as an adopted son. The boy kept crawling on the ground yelling that how could his family have been so blind as to harbor such a viper? These words seemed to flatter the young man, for he smiled and thanked him for the compliment. And then he leaned right up to the guy's face and said something he forgot to mention after all. He told the lad's parents, some news, and this time they were off to meet the adventure. Seeing the fear on the young man's face, Fang Bing continued talking after all, to give the boy one last opportunity to awaken his strength. Even though there was a huge danger, they still went. Of course, they did not hesitate to go. After all, there is nothing more precious than a parent's love. Bei Jin kneeled on his knees with both hands on his head and cried out for his mom and dad. Fang Bing once again kicked the young man under his stomach straight to the gate and ordered him to leave. While already outside the gate, one could hear that rascal still saying that the young man would do well in the slums. The boy got up and holding his side walked away. There was nothing good in his mind, only the idea that Fang Bing was the greatest scoundrel of all time. But when he turned around, he could see his eyes full of hatred and rage. He knew he'd be back. At this time, the villain was still standing at the gate. After pulling the iron bar, he made some action. And from there, a small green strip of something rushed at Bi Yi Jin. Fang Bing smiled gloatingly and thought that there was something else that needed to be done, even though he had lost and was no longer a threat. After all, he was guided by the fact that the best scum is dead scum. It was night in the metropolis, but the stargate loomed over the city like the sun, and there was a battered boy wandering among the houses. He was in so much pain that he had less and less strength to move. The guy was swarming with green bubbles. It was probably the poison that that scoundrel had released at the last moment. The young man didn't look good at all. He realized he was going to die very soon and so stumbling he mentally shouted that he did not want to die. But in the end, the boy collapsed dead. At that time, the clouds thickened and formed like a whirlwind. And in an instant, a beam came straight from the cloud. That ray flew straight at the dead guy. This bright yellow light enveloped Bei Jin's body. Not even a second later, the guy opened his eyes. And there were no wounds on his body at all. The young man stood up, smiled, and touched something. Thinking that he didn't think that the legendary secret technique of reincarnation would work after all, it seemed that he wasn't the same young man who was originally there. After all, he was reborn. Now he was a completely different person, only his body was unchanged. Before our hero was reborn, there was a battle. A man in white armor was stabbed through and through with a long sword. The man screamed why he was being treated like this, for he had always treated his killer as if he were his own child. It was a girl. But you couldn't see her face. Only her eyes were shining and she was begging her master's forgiveness. But if he doesn't die, she'll have to live in his shadow. That way she would never become the world's strongest war goddess. The people standing behind them supported the girl. One said that he was an ignorant warrior, and another said that the power of the great demon god was beyond his imagination. In fact, how dare he think of fighting? The man glared with one eye, grasped the blade of his sword, and smiling aloud expressed his guess. He realized that all this time, those men had been playing him for a fool. He began to press the sword into his body while saying that the idea of joining forces to kill the demon god and end this dark age was just wishful thinking on his part. And then he said that those people had forgotten about their oath to protect humanity and had fallen into their own greed. The girl heard this, and she was completely exhausted. But the man went on to say that instead of all this, people see him as a threat and want to keep their power. Then he asked if they really thought they could just defeat him. But no. After that, the people were completely frightened. Turning his face directly towards his opponents, he angrily said his name, Meng Jin Sheng. Then he said that he was the strongest warrior known to mankind and the only SSS-ranked war god. He asked how he could fall so easily. Finally, he intimidated them by saying that he would definitely come back and become stronger than before. He formed a magic circle with many elements. The man began to glow on all sides, as if he were being incinerated. In an instant, he turned into a pillar of light and headed upwards. From this light, everyone tried to take cover as soon as they could. And one could see how he was indeed vaporized, for remnants of him were flying in the air. Weapons were thrown in every possible direction. Meng Jin Sheng was in Bei Jin's body. Completely reincarnated, the guy looking into the distance ordered Tian Feng and the others to just wait. 
Since he had survived, he would eradicate their sins one by one. The man tried to understand what was going on with this body. He examined it in every way possible, and in a way, it even scared him. Mazachinov realized that it was poisoned and realized that it was poisoned by the poison of a gray crystal lizard from the dark world. And the matter was that of an E, rank thief. The body was so weakened due to the long poisoning that the internal organs were already in holes. Looking at his fingers, the man was horrified. Lethala really is just ruined. And in such a case, how could one talk about waking up? The man tried to understand how his soul could have chosen such a useless shell. At that moment, the guy grabbed his head. Memories came flooding back. He remembered the adoption, the disappearance of his parents, the various conspiracies and betrayals. That because of similar circumstances, his soul had chosen this particular shell. The boy looked at his hand and wondered if he had such a strong will before his death. And so a sizzling soul appeared before the lad. And he said that at any rate, he would fulfill everything that this shell wanted before death. The man noticed that the previous soul of his body had already almost completely dissipated, which meant that the reincarnation was complete. He had truly become the master of the body. The man was still squinting at his hands. He realized that his body was so weakened that the chance of becoming a hero was less than one in a million. Let alone returning to his previous level, it would be difficult to fulfill even his last wish. But fidgeting with himself, he felt as if he was angry at his thoughts. In his past life, as the strongest god of war, he had made the impossible possible. Trying to focus, he put two fingers to his temple. He realized that he had mastered a great many skills. There must be something that would improve his physical strength and allow him to change his fate against the will of the heavens. He was trying to figure out what secret technique would save him. In an instant, it was as if it had hit him. About the law of Nirvana, the six paths of reincarnation, remembering the moment when he had fought monsters and acquired the legendary secret arts of the six paths of reincarnation along with reincarnation in the mysterious lands of the void. Since reincarnation had proven to be effective, the six paths of information loss should work as well. If he mastered it, he would definitely be able to change his body data and gain even more power than in his previous life. However, before the transformation, he must enter the Stargate to awaken. And so, as he was heading towards the Stargate, the man realized that this was a new life for his soul. In this life, his name is Bi Jin, which means that this is the name of our hero, and with this name he will return to the top and become the strongest in the world. The boy was already approaching the starry gates of the City of Dawn. The City of Dawn is located in the southern part of the planet. It's far away from the heavenly city located in the north where he used to live. So he was thrown from the north to the south. Bei Jin walked and looked around and thought about being away from Tianfeng's influence. This is great because now there is an opportunity to become secretly stronger. Dawn City is the largest city in the south. There really are a lot of awakened people there. Our hero was like them fighting day and night in the wilderness to increase strength and achieve the dream of becoming a god of war. As he approached one of the lodges, the lad announced that he wanted to apply to be part of the awakening. The man in the builder's tailcoat looked at the guy and informed him that he had already tried two times this month and failed both times. And added that although his father is the captain of the awakened group and he is entitled to free attempts, but with the potential of our hero, you can forget about the awakening. Then the man glanced somewhere and whispered that it was really a waste of resources. Our hero's soul was burning brightly. He was incredibly angry, but he was trying to hold back. So he asked me to do it again. The guy started to burn from the inside out. The man saw this and tried to figure out what was going on. In an instant, he became very scared and leaned back with his hands to protect himself. The captain of the guards, Chai Bo, a stately man, came up behind him. He looked sternly at his subordinate and asked him what had happened, but he mumbled guiltily. These two were having an emotional discussion. At this time, our hero stood aside just watching. The guy said that according to the memories of this body, when Chai Bo was young, he was rescued by B.I. Jin's parents. So how will he treat the son of his benefactors after the change in the B.I. family? Interesting. And will he behave like Fan Bing? But in the meantime, the man was reprimanding his subordinate. He was telling him that the Bai family has been an awakened family for generations. They have made great contributions to the city. He asked if he had any problems with the application. The man just bowed his head guiltily at this point. 
the warden inquired as to the location of the star map of the revival. The man guiltily began to hand it over. After a second, they turned to our hero. The guy was in a kind of bewilderment and thus a little surprised initially. Chai Bo looked at the guy kindly and held out the card. At the same time, he asked him to take it and take part in the awakening. As he passed by, the man put his hand on the guy's shoulder and whispered a warning that if he failed this time, it would be better to seek shelter. Do not stay in the territory of the residents of the awakened. It would be very dangerous. And then made sure that the guy understood everything. The man eventually began to leave leaving behind our hero from his subordinate. Looking in the distance to the departing man, the young man thought that Chai Bo is the man who knows how to pay with gratitude, and even smiled at the thought. Our hero headed for the stairs to the Stargate. There he stood right at the entrance. There was an incredible number of people there. It was probably all the awakened ones. The young man tossed the card into the air. It began to enter the gate and dissolve into this golden matter. Eventually, it disappeared altogether. After that, our hero went in himself. It was as if he was entering into some kind of muddle. Passing through this boundary, young man found himself in a spacious room under a starry sky. There were many people around, which were covered with golden light. The boy stood among them like a white crow, but looking at his body, our hero tried to understand what was happening. It cannot be that this body cannot even withstand the pressure and places of awakening. Although it's not surprising since he had been poisoned for so many years, the guy stood there trembling, not realizing that achieving awakening would be extremely difficult. First, the potential test subject would resonate with the stars, make a contract, and then he could awaken. The more he attracted starlight, the more transformation his body would undergo. This promises a great advantage and a bright future. Those who failed to resonate with the stars would end up as ordinary people and rot in misery. The guy looking at the sky thought that although there was a star resonating with this body here, but his condition was too weak. It's impossible to obtain a normal amount of starlight and make a contract, let alone awaken. Our hero looked like he had just been beaten up and had just passed through the stargate. However, he had foreseen all of this, and judging from the light of this star, even if he received it and was able to awaken, the transformation would not be complete. His eyes narrowed and sweat rolled down from his forehead. He realized that if he wanted to come back, he would have to risk it and give his best. In an instant, the boy was on fire and his soul and body seemed to separate. After all, the guy had decided to try the legendary secret art of the six paths of reincarnation. One must ignite a huge amount of spiritual power and summon the six paths wheel. Then, gather the power of the light of countless stars, purify the essence and transform his body. In his past life, his soul power was strong, and although he had suffered losses after the transformation, but his soul power should still be strong enough. Our hero asked for the soul power to ignite. In an instant, he was enveloped by a vortex of fire, and the guy stood and obeyed this phenomenon. In an instant, he basically became a vortex. And in fact, inside this vortex, the young man stood in the center of a magic circle exactly the same as before reincarnation. Our hero was indeed burning with a bright flame, which was given to him by the star that was directly above him. The beam of light was falling directly on the young man who was waiting for it. The guy standing in the center of the circle was already standing in a smaller circle of light. The people around him who were glowing were trying to understand what was going on. How could starlight shine like the sun? The guy disappeared somewhere again. People assumed that someone had awakened, but with so much starlight, the body must be completely transformed. Meanwhile, our hero was sneaking up on something huge, but he considered it a success. It had been a success. After all, taking the initiative and enlisting the stars to resonate was a brilliant decision. However, it was only the first step. The thing began to crack and flames began to emerge from the cracks. They flew straight towards our hero and gently enveloped him. Everything was happening as our hero had planned. After all, now it was time to curb the flames of starlight. The real awakening begins at this very moment. The boy tried his best. He was burning very, very brightly. Engaged, in order to awaken the class, one must endure the extinction of this flame. Even though he had experienced a lot over the years, what was happening to him now was really painful. But he endured, spreading his arms in the flames as if releasing all his emotions outward. The guy was screaming that everything that was happening was nothing. His eyes were burning and he was shouting furiously. Bei Jin stood amidst the smoke and ashes, bursting into flames. After a short while, the young man exhaled. 
Looking at his hands, the young man noticed that he was no longer burning, so he thought that it was all over. But he didn't understand whether the star power attracted by the six paths of coronation should be so simple. In that instant, something similar to what was in front of him before appeared in front of him. Only now, it was not light and in red hues, but black and gloomy. The guy looking at this something even, somehow slyly smirked, did not realize that this is somehow already similar to the truth. Now he was enveloped in black and purple smoke. The guy obediently spread his arms. After a moment, a third star flame appeared in front of him. It was yellow. Bei Jin was really waiting for him. Here he is already burning with yellow flames. Later, he curbed the fourth star flame, the blue one. The young man endured as much as he could because it was unbearably painful. Fifth, green. And finally, it was the turn of the last star, sixth and purple. In the end, our hero endured and endured everything. Our hero didn't realize if the six paths of reincarnation corresponded to the six kinds of star flames. He stood in the middle, completely enveloped in the flames. Such an awakening is unprecedented and dangerous. But gathering all his courage, the guy fell somewhere. After all, the greater the danger, the greater the advantages. Our hero found himself in a kind of cocoon. It was encased in the flames of six stars. So our hero decided to use it to harden his body. In other words, to be reborn from the ashes by Nirvana, the young man sat in this cocoon and meditated. There was a rebirth and purification of the essence. So everything unnecessary was literally coming out of his body. Our hero was really in a kind of space, which was very, very far away. Even so far away that our hero could hardly be seen. In an instant, the cocoon began to crack, and then the top was completely destroyed. From there came out our hero, which really could be seen that he really was reborn. Because he no longer looked so helpless and beaten, but on the contrary strong and confident. Forming a lightning bolt in the palm of his hand, our hero concluded that his body was restored and the poison was completely removed. Then, he thought that the six paths of reincarnation deserved to be a legendary secret art that could change fate. Putting two fingers on his temple again and closing his eyes, Bei Jin realized that the awakening was complete. But in an instant, a circle with six unknown elements appeared behind him. Bei Jin was startled and even frightened. He didn't understand what it was. Our hero didn't realize what he had awakened. After awakening, the body improves depending on the awakened class. Our hero has the physique of a warrior. He also has the speed and agility of a thief. What's amazing is that he also has the insight of a mage. The incredibly keen eyesight of the archer and the hunter. The unwavering will of the knight tempered by fire. The summoner's keen perception of all living things. Has the boy awakened all six classes? Is it really thanks to the art of the six paths of reincarnation? The guy was a bit startled as he thought about the fact that he knew a lot of things from his past life. But he had barely heard of a person having at least two classes a couple times. And he suddenly had all of them. But how was that possible? With a body like that, he would surely surpass his past self. It's just a matter of waiting for all the assholes. His revenge won't be long in coming. Our hero noticed that something began to crack. Star space was cracking, which meant that the inducement procedure would soon be over. It was already time for our hero to leave. In an instant, the guy frowned for some reason. In front of him stood someone who was not at all pleasant to him. It was the scoundrel who threw our hero out of the mansion. He began to call our hero all sorts of names and wondered why he had come to the awakening. After all, he's just trash that wastes resources. Our hero, with a look full of rage and hatred, sent this man far away. The guy did not expect this, so he was surprised even more and did not immediately realize what had happened. He froze, watching our hero passing by him unable to object. And now he came to his senses. The guy covered with sweat asked how our hero dares to talk to him like that. But in his head was panic. After all, how after the last poisoning he was able to survive. But if so, then he would just kill him himself. The boy began to free his sword. He shouted and asked how this scum dared to disobey. And on behalf of his parents, he decided to teach him a lesson. Our hero stopped and asked the Fang Bing flying at him to stop. The two began to fight. Or rather, Fang Bin bragged about his skills. And asked him not to blame him for what would happen next. At this time, our hero analyzed all the actions. And came to the conclusion that his rivals really intend to kill him. But the thieves must hide and conduct a cover-up attack. The guy really seemed to be looking deep into his opponent. Considering the experience of the strongest god of war, such uncoutish Nataj our hero sees a lot of open places. In addition, at that moment, he had as many as six classes awakened. 
and the opponent was like a snake. Our hero was also intent on attacking. That's why he was already accelerating. He slapped Fang Bing's face with all his might. Our hero threw his opponent a good distance away. As Fang Bing flew away from the blow, the people who saw it didn't understand how such a scum could send an E-ranked thief flying with a single blow. After landing, the guy tried to get up. How could he get to him? After all, it was only one hit, but no, that's crazy. He must have been lucky, he thought. At this time, our hero stood in a fighting stance and realized that he had just awakened, so he had no class skills yet. Taking advantage of the surprise effect, he was able to hit this cretin, and now completely frowning, the guy realized that it wasn't enough to overpower him. At that instant, a certain person appeared, walking straight towards Fang Bing. The person said that the rogue openly intended to kill someone who had just passed the awakening and then asked if he wanted to go to jail. It's Chai Bo. The guy went to the chief of guards and tried to convince him that our hero had tried many times to awaken, but to no avail. He said that this man should be fired for abuse of power because he's giving these scum a chance and covering for them. The man was not at all hurt by the words. On the contrary, he laughed and said not to dare to teach him about life. And pointing his finger at our hero, he said that any sighted person could confirm his awakening. Fang Bing began to analyze what had happened. It was a powerful blow that an ordinary person wouldn't be able to do. He suppressed the attack of a high-ranked thief. Then he analyzed that thieves were not strong in direct confrontations, but an ordinary person would not be able to parry such an attack. After thinking about it, the guy didn't reply anything. Glaring with his evil eyes, the guy pontmated that it was impossible. His body had been under the influence of the poison for so long that it had begun to break down. And then he began to wonder if it was possible. Although he realized that no one in his life could do such a thing under such circumstances, Chai Bo held out something shining to our hero. It was a special device for the awakened. It had our hero's name and his class as a warrior written on it. Still holding the device in his hand, the man said that our hero had awakened the warrior class. That would explain his blow. One of the people watching said to his comrade that Fang Bing was a fool for being a thief and attacking a warrior head-on. But the comrade said that when he awakened this class himself, it was strange that he wasn't that strong. At this time, Bi Jin was a little worried, but realized that the sixth class awakening was too shocking. If word got out about it, someone strong might target him, and then he would be in trouble. Fortunately, and here was a soul strong, he hid his aura with his soul power. Only the cool ones can see everything. Chai Bo patted our hero's shoulder again and congratulated him heartily. And a little while later, he added that his parents would be proud of him. The man held out another card. He said that since he had awakened, he should go to the Warriors Guild to learn and improve, and asked him to try to discover the accompanying talents to become a real high-level awakened. Our hero took the card in his hands, and the man added that the young man had already lost a lot of time, so it was worth it not to postpone this matter. Our hero smilingly said that he would certainly try his best in everything. The guy asked a little later when the monthly talent evaluation would take place. Thus he took the man by surprise. But the man said that everything would be happening today. Then he asked to see the armored cars. And then added that this is the group that is traveling out of the city for talent evaluation. The man wondered why ask our heroes about such a thing, and fearfully suggested if our hero wanted to do the evaluation. But the guy said that the man had assumed everything correctly. Chai Bo was a little furious. He thought the young man was out of his mind. Then he asked if the boy knew that he only had one try and that our hero had just awakened. He asked if he really wanted to lose his one chance. When people undergo awakening, they are given the status of apprentice. Apprentices study and improve their abilities in the guild for three years. After gaining enough knowledge, they go to the talent evaluation. Only there can they obtain the talent associated with the class. After that, they are considered true awakened ones. The man angrily began to say that collateral talents were a passive skill. Each class can only obtain one of these. It can be either good or bad. It will determine the further achievements of our hero. The young man needs to prepare well and then will be able to perform well on the assessment. That's the key to getting a good talent and then asked him to take it seriously. But our hero was really in a good mood. So smilingly asked him not to worry and tried to convince the man that he was confident in his abilities. All the people at the Stargate were heading towards the armored cars. The people looking at our hero didn't understand how he could do this, 
since he had just awakened and already wanted to pass the talent evaluation. They even called him too arrogant. Meanwhile, Fang Bing thought about how to get rid of him, because he is a threat. Our hero looked at his enemy and realized that he was still planning to kill him. But when he obtained the accompanying talent and became truly awakened, then the worthless E-rank thief would realize what was going on. And after that, he even felt a little funny. The light in the Stargate shrouded the city. Beyond its borders lurk a multitude of terrifying monsters. They are extremely evil and have a rabid hunger for human souls. The monsters are afraid of the Stargate light and dare not approach the city. Enough monsters gather, their thirst overcomes their fear. And it's a catastrophic wave sweeps over the city. There are many cities in human history that have been overrun by monsters. When the Stargate is destroyed and the starlight goes out, countless people become food for the monsters. Thus, no matter how many awakened resist the catastrophic wave and defend the city, this is a war in which the awakened carry themselves to sacrifice and become martyrs and protect humanity. Each martyr with an indomitable will calls upon the light of the Stargate and gains immortality under the cover of the starlight. The multitude of tombstones emit vast amounts of starlight energy, distorting space and creating a special dimension known as the lands of starlight gifts. There, every newly awakened person participates in talent evaluation to continue the glory of the ancestors. They receive the accompanying talent inherited from their predecessors. Right now, an armored car is driving. Driving along barbed wires in darkness, our hero sitting inside this car holding a book in his hand, he thought that the magician's insight is indeed useful. He had already practically read such a thick book. The area around the city is mostly inhabited by undead, so it's worth targeting this type of monster specifically. Although the trials are different from city to city, but most of the rules of the Land of Starlight Gifts are the same. In his past life, our hero was born in an ordinary family, without any support from his elders. It was a miracle that he was able to obtain the accompanying gold rank talent back then. Gold rank talent 1 per 10,000 people, silver rank talent 1,000 people, bronze rank talent 1 per 100 people. Thorin of iron rank can get 1 out of 10 people, and the majority gets the lowest, and 1 out of 100,000 or even millions gets an epic rank talent. This time, he might tag higher. It might be possible to obtain an epic talent. According to the legend, to do so, one must enter the deepest part of the Starlight Lands, and so they have already arrived at the first trial. Entering the gate, one could hear people hoping to obtain the accompanying bronze rank skill to get rich, and others were sure that it would bypass them. When people saw our hero with the book, they began to discuss whether he had awakened. But they assumed that because of the means in his parents, and having exhausted so many attempts, even a pig would have awakened. And noticing that he was reading a book in such a place, they assumed that this was what our hero was singing after awakening. And afterward, they laughed a great deal. The young man looked at them and began to wonder, did these guys really become awakened disciples and have trained for three years in major guilds? But why are they so ignorant? While logical, most likely the guilds only give basic quests. The really valuable information is only spread among the high-ranking awakened. The fools don't know that when testing the lands of the gifts of the bound light, the most important thing is not strength, but wisdom, will, and courage. One guy smiled broadly as he noticed a girl with long hair passing by and exclaimed, Is it really Lin Shi of the Lin family? It was a girl with a good grade, and it was obvious that she was not of bad blood. She had awakened at the age of 11, a great genius. People standing next to our hero began to discuss, which is strange, because she awakened the class five years ago, and began to wonder if she shouldn't have passed the talent evaluation earlier, and why did she come only now? The guy assumed that the girl was from a rich family. Then he realized that Aura wasn't he much, still an unusual awakened disciple, but she had a dense concentration of soul power. The grave guardians of the Land of Starlight Gift Graves appeared in front of the people. Zi Gong, 34 years old, Sashi, a member of the Archer's Guild of Dawn City, C-rank combat ability. Duan Jia, 36 years old, a senior member of the Dawn City Warriors Guild, C-rank combat ability. The men standing in front of the participant discussed that the daughter of the Lin family had awakened the archer class at the age of 11, preparing for so many years. Apparently, the grade would be fruitful. It seems like the archer guild will receive a true treasure. The flattered man began to wave back and asked not to judge so quickly. The talent evaluation depends on luck. It's too early to declare such a thing. 
Thought according to inside information, the Lin family has been preparing all this time, aiming for a concomitant high-ranking talent. They are confident in their abilities. But should I tell the man about it? Wouldn't he die of envy? The bearded man agreed with his interlocutor and scratched his beard and said that talent really depends on luck. Maybe even a talent of iron rank will turn out. The interlocutor got angry. It seemed to him that he was going to jinx him. But the man Echidna smilingly said that he was telling the truth because this had already happened. There were more people behind the men and they realized that the two men were arguing again. One of the men asked not to waste time. They should start the evaluation sooner. One of the men asked if everyone was in place and then said that he believed they shouldn't tell them anything about the talent evaluation because they already knew everything. Before entering the land of starlight gifts, one should pay homage to the ancestors that rest there. It is a gray, heroic sacrifice that allows them to continue living in a world full of monsters. These young people have been smiled upon by fortune and awakened. They are there to continue the legacy of their ancestors and let men fight for the future of mankind. These lands are dangerous. These are the first battle to become true awakened ones. If they don't take it seriously, they could die. The dark-haired man seriously informed that these lands were only open for one day, so let them take this opportunity. And the man standing next to them wished that the accompanying talent they would receive would depend on luck. The constellations began to come together on something rectangular. In an instant, a huge black portal formed. The evaluation was beginning. People began to take turns entering this black hole. In an instant, they found themselves in an unknown world. All of them were confused to some degree. Looking at our hero who was reading a book, people still assumed he was stupid for coming in and continuing to read a book. They even assumed that he went there unprepared and intentionally wanted to die. One of the men turned against our hero and put his hands in a block and said that he knew our hero. This guy was a bit bigger than the young man. He smilingly began to say that he was the famous scum of B.I. Jin and advised that if he wanted to ban books, then let him go read in a den somewhere. Our hero just stared and said nothing. The interlocutor did not like it and asked why he was watching and asked if he wanted to be beaten up and asked him to leave. The young man was above it all, and so turning the pages of the book advised the fat man to take care of himself. The guy was furious trying to figure out how he dared to call him a fat man. In an instant, something began to happen to the fat guy. Something huge and blue was right beside him. The fat man had entered the heroic spirit evaluation zone. While under this dome, huge mutated spiders began to crawl at him from all sides. The guy was screaming in fear. The people watching this fatty fight were trying to figure out if he was fighting an F-rank monster, a ghost-faced spider. After all, they weren't that awakened yet. How could they deal with such creatures? The fatty was rolling around dead. Heroic exam failed and asked everyone to look at the ordinary white talent rune. There was indeed a white circle on the young man's face. The exam was failed. The accompanying low-ranking talent is not going to give the fatty a bright future. At this time, our hero was walking among the souls. A guy was reading a book. The young man passed by a person who had passed the evaluation and received a bronze rank and was thanking his ancestor's heroic spirit. This person was truly happy. He was standing in the middle of the green circle. This was the test of heroic spirit in the Starlight Roadlands. If one passed, one would receive the accompanying talent of a certain rank from the ancestor's heroic spirit. But if you failed, you could only receive a lower rank talent. Someone asked if our hero wanted to go deeper. He glanced around but didn't reply yet. It was a girl from the Lin family. Looking directly at our hero, she began to say that in the far side of these lands, one could obtain a top rank talent, but the spirit grade would be more terrifying, even life-threatening. Therefore, she suggested that we should think carefully before going any further. Our hero thanked for the warning and also decided to give advice and said that relying on external forces, you cannot pass the assessment of heroic spirit. The girl was shocked by this statement, to say the least. The girl was very frightened when she heard about external forces. Therefore, she questioned and then said that just in case, her family had prepared E-ranked dolls. Even a true awakened one wouldn't reveal them right away. He's just an apprentice. Also he, our hero, kept walking, trying to figure out why he hadn't shown up yet. But at that moment, something incredibly fast flew by him. So fast, in fact, that our hero fell to the side. The heroic spirit looks puzzled and scared. 
Our hero, sunburned again, approached the spirit asking for forgiveness and informing it that he had come to receive the accompanying epic rank talent. Looking away to this spirit, he suggested that perhaps this silver rank ancestor spirit had sensed that his soul was different from the others. Soul energy is really good at attracting their attention. Well, she heroes remembered that the exam only lasts for one day. He can't waste any more time. Gotta get what he came there for quickly. There is total darkness in those lands except for the twinkling of stars. So it's hard to navigate and easy to get lost. Fortunately, all the heroic spirits of the ancestors are recorded in his book. They can be used as coordinates to find the shortest path. This spirit was right, so the book wasn't lying. Then turning right would take him to the farthest part of the Starlight Giftlands. The boy started jumping at an incredible speed. He was followed by two spirits who pointed their weapons crosswise at our hero. In an instant, they stopped. Our hero stood, and in the air right in front of him reigned two ghosts that were about to fight. Our hero tried to understand why they were fighting. Then he realized that he must have underestimated the appeal of his soul to the spirits of the ancestors. And then our hero waved his hand with a smile and apologized saying that he was there for a talent of epic rank. The spirits were distracted from their occupation and turned their attention to our hero. In an instant, a huge spirit in armor and with many weapons appeared in front of the guy, and on the other side of the girl, also a spirit, and a witch with a book. He met a lot of people. He met a lot of ghosts along the way. It seems that this time he has a high chance of getting the accompanying talent rank, but walking past the bushes, our hero felt and heard some rustling, and so he turned around and called out to someone. Looking out from behind a tree, he called someone an idiot and said he warned them. There was a gunfight going on under the Golden Dome. It was the same girl who gave advice to our hero. She didn't know what was going on. After all, an infinite number of arrows from the spirit fell on her. The girl didn't understand why the ancestor of the Lin family was so angry. He was already pulling three flaming arrows on the bowstring, and they stabbed into the ground with unbelievable force, and some horrible black creatures began to crawl out of the ground, they began to turn into huge E-ranked skeleton hounds. The girl looking at these monsters could not understand how the arrows turned into these three monsters. The girl came to the conclusion that this was no longer an examination of heroic spirit. The ancestor wanted to kill her. The young lady draws arrows turned to the heroic spirit ancestor of the Lin family, began to shout that she is his descendant, and wondered why he was trying to kill her. The girl completely angry said that if she offended him, she apologized and asked to name the reason and the ancestor just drew his arrows and repeated one word, unworthy. This word took the girl by surprise, so much so that she was stunned and couldn't do anything. The skeleton hound was flying at her and she was doing nothing. The doll created by her family rushed to her aid. One moment and there was a tremendous explosion. The girl stood amidst the dust and ashes. She said that her grandfather had always told her that her abilities were the best and she was the hope for the rebirth of their family. And after killing everyone around her, she tried to understand why her ancestor was so angry and repeated that she was unworthy. By this time, the doll was almost destroyed. The girl with tears in her eyes tried to understand why she was unworthy and tried her best to find the reason. The ancestor appeared in front of her eyes again, telling her that she was unworthy and to get out. But the girl didn't back down. She tried to understand what she had done wrong. So she asked the heroic ancestor spirit to tell her. Our hero turned to the young lady of the Lin family and asked if she still didn't realize what she had done wrong. The girl seeing our hero did not understand what he was doing there. At this time, the spirit ancestor paid attention to our hero. The girl with tears in her eyes and fury began to say that after her awakening at the age of 11, she did not relax for a moment, practiced diligently, and even underwent a severe hardening. Before coming there, she had tempered her soul to the limit of an awakened disciple. She had worked so hard on her development so that the heroic ancestor spirit would recognize her. Frowning her eyebrows and eyes, she continued saying that at this age, she is the most outstanding genius of the Lin family, as well as a disciple archer with great potential. She had worked hard to get there. The girl began to burn with bright flames and drew her arrow and said that if she came face to face with the ancestor spirit, even if she died, she would still release the arrow. Releasing the arrow, the girl smiled and did not realize if it was a resonance with the heroic spirit. Our hero smilingly said that it looks like it, because in this exam and more important is not the strength, but the will and courage. And looking at the girl, our hero said that she took two dolls with her. This is not cheating, but still a cowardly act. And then the girl realized what her ancestor was talking about, and widening her eyes wide, the girl tried to understand who this guy, our hero, was. 
Such a man could not be unknown in the city of dawn. The dome began to dissipate. The exam for the girl had been passed. Everything around began to dissipate and the girl exhaled. Burning with a bright golden light, the spirit directed some sign towards the girl. And she found herself in the center of the fire. A sign lit up in the girl's forehead. This meant that she had received the accompanying talent of the ancestor. Our hero watched the moment the girl received this talent. He thought it wasn't bad after all. She had obtained a gold-ranked collateral talent. It seemed like she would have a bright future. And in one and the same instant, everything disappeared as quickly as it had appeared. Everything began to dissipate, and the girl was heading towards our hero. Turning to the guy with the open book, she thanked him. Bai Jin advised her to leave quickly since she had already received a talent. Heroic ancestor spirits don't hurt, but after many years, they can mutate into evil and cruel spirits. If you meet one, you will find yourself in a very dangerous situation. The girl smiled and accepted the advice, and then asked why he came there, because there is a zone of spirits of golden rank. Our hero left and said that of course he had come for the best accompanying talent. The girl waved her hands and wondered if he also wanted to get a gold-ranked talent, and then said that his aura was weak compared to other awakened disciples. Our hero turned around and wondered, yes, what does she know? NL asked, just to help keep it a secret and not tell anyone about him. Thought about why our hero always behaves so arrogantly, but in an instant, the girl was very frightened and surprised. After all, they were in the gold rank zone, but where is our hero going next? And assumed that he was heading to the deepest part of the Starlight Gifts. Our hero some time later was already in the deepest part of the lands of Starlight Gifts, the so-called Projection of Hell. When he saw the gate, he smirked because he realized that he was on the right path. In an instant, he felt a certain pressure, even assuming that the monster's combat ability was that of a guardian, at least at the level of an advanced D rank. Bei Jin was sweating with some excitement as he realized that the gap in spiritual energy was too great. Even if the monster attacked him, the spiritual pressure was still there. Even when he was far away, our hero's body could barely withstand it. The fact that all ranks have a certain number of points and D rank has the most points, more than 900. Our hero stood as an awakened disciple with a spiritual energy of 30. He realized that although this land was not completely based on combat power, if his body could not endure this so-called experience, his wisdom and courage would be useless. Bi Jin raised his hands. This action made the small vortex around him happy. He concluded that the concentration of spiritual energy is dozens of times higher than the outside world. The place where our hero is located is the best place for development. It has been a few hours since the beginning of the evaluation, so there is still time to become stronger. The guy was in a trance. He possessed a secret art from his past life, infinite gong key. Our hero decided to try this art. It is a secret technique of epic rank that he accidentally obtained in his past life. So a ball of light blue color began to form in his palms. There are different reasons why the guy could achieve so much then. But this technique was indispensable. Behind Bi Jin, a circle similar to the one that helped him reincarnate was formed. The young man emitted a soft blue glow as he realized that he was absorbing energy faster than in the past because he had obtained all six classes and had increased his absorption speed as a buff. He was still sitting in the lotus posture, and behind him was a huge circle. Our hero kept thinking that there was a dense concentration of spiritual energy, so the young man could absorb it as he wished. At a rate to get results that others take years, our hero would get in one day. At this time, the energy was absorbed in the form of a blue light, or rather, it was the amount of spiritual energy. In the end, the guy exhaled when the 99th spiritual energy had been absorbed. Our hero looked at his hand with a great smile and realized that the amount of spiritual energy had reached the maximum level for a disciple of 99 points. Before obtaining the accompanying skill, our hero is unable to become a true awakened. The guy's body can't absorb more spiritual energy. Shaking off the dust on his shoulder, Bi Jin cheerfully thought that 99 points of spiritual energy and six times the strength should still be enough. He was already close to the so-called Hell Gate, but the problem was that right on the steps in front of it was a D-ranked monster that seemed to be the calmest of all. Although no, this huge Doberman at the sight of our hero strained all his canine senses and was ready to tear him at the same second. In front of the young man was a Hellhound, the most ferocious D-rank monster. Their peculiarity is that the bone soul fire on their bodies is enough to burn the soul, and this cannot help but be intimidating. At this time, the souls on the other side of the soul gate were surprised that after hundreds of years, someone had finally come to be evaluated. 
but some were convinced that a human, that is, our hero, would not be able to defeat the Hellhound. The Hound really looked like a true Hellhound. Its backbone was as if it had been taken out, and its teeth were so sharp that even looking at them seemed like it could cut itself. But the look of this monster was incomparable to anything. Our hero stood almost at the paws of this animal, but was very calm, because he realized that after all, it was just a puppy with a partial soul of a hellish Cerberus. In an instant, the beast flew at the guy and a deadly fight was imminent. But for some reason there was a suppression of spiritual energy. The guy somehow still looked calm, though he realized that if such a thing had happened earlier, he would have been frightened. And the moment he jumped out of his circle, our hero came to the conclusion that at this moment, this type of spiritual energy suppression was completely useless against him. In an instant, Bi Jin was already attacking his opponent, and this time it was easier for him to do so because he now had some spiritual power. But the Hellhound did not expect such a thing from the young man and almost bounced away. But at the same time, he was even more angry. The boy struck one blow after another, all the while being in a jump or just in the air. But unfortunately, with the current fighting power of our hero, he could barely scratch the beast. Nevertheless, such actions not on a joke made the animal angry. He began to growl and as if to call for something. Our hero froze on the ground after his attack, for after the provocation, the hellhound became angry. Indeed, the monster hungry for our hero's soul flew straight at him at an incredible speed, displaying its claws almost in front of him, while Bi Jin stood and just watched without doing anything. Our hero spread his arms out as if obeying an animal that had already opened its mouth to devour him for lunch. One moment and our hero was stabbed into the monster's face like a nail. But as it came out, the animal watched with apprehension. The guy looked straight into the huge blue eyes of the hound, saying that after all they were on earth to evaluate the awakened disciples, the people who organized all this did not have where to get a real D-rank hellhound for evaluation. In an instant, our hero waved his two fingers. Immediately, the hellhound began to scatter into many small and large crystals, and the guy jumped down thinking that as an apprentice, he is certainly strong, but wondered how much stronger he could become, and then distracted by the thought that in the lands where he is the key to success is wisdom and courage. The guy was standing right in front of the stairs leading directly to the hell gates. He thought about the fact that he had only provoked the animal to get angry. True hellhounds are immortal, and like all immortal creatures, they have no emotions, let alone rage. This is just a projection to scare the candidate, to see if he has the fighting skills and courage to face such a monster. Our hero had already overcome the huge staircase and was heading straight towards the darkness. The guy was smiling slyly, trying to figure out if it is true that he is entering the so-called hell gate, and then joked to himself, thinking that he was even a little excited. After a moment, Bei Jin walked bravely and confidently into the unknown and darkness. After a moment, the gate began to close little by little. This meant that there was no way back. Our hero was walking in the middle of a wide stone road, flanked by huge stone torches emitting bright blue flames. The young man stopped at the waterfall, fascinated by its beauty. He did not understand why the farthest corner of the land looks like this. Because this place does not look like hell. It looks more like a valley of sacrifices, and later tried to understand whether the epic rank really exists. In an instant, the guy tensed up, he was confused. Something fiery flew right over him. But thanks to the agility of the young man, he managed to dodge, or rather duck, the young man wondered if this aura had reached S rank. Something very powerful flew over his head, and it was not only possible to die at such a thing. Our hero was confused, so he just stared. In an instant, a pillar of light struck right in front of him, and in the center was a man. It was a heroic spirit of epic rank that was heading straight towards our hero and asking him to stop. This heroic spirit was burning with fire, and this flame enveloped the young man who was standing there without moving at all. Bei Jin looked straight ahead with a slight smirk and asked him to stop doubting him, for he had not gotten there because of his luck and his desire to see what an epic rank could do. The spirit was adamant. He was angry and wondered how a student could dare to go there. But after a while, he asked if our hero had had enough of life and had decided to see what a spirit of epic rank could do. Kiroi was still smiling, and after hearing before these questions, he said that Vidani respect for the past life of the spirit the guy offers to test him not by negotiation. After all, on this test, the main force otherwise, the spirit admits that he cannot compete even with the apprentice. The spirit still communicating with our hero called him too eloquent, and then asked if our hero thought that once he got there, he would be able to defeat the representative of the epic rank and called our hero too naive. 
because he will show him what the power of the heroic spirit of the epic rank means. In an instant, his sword began to blaze with fire. A whirlwind of fire enveloped our hero, and the guy was still trying to figure out what was going on. In a second, he was in the arena. It was hard to believe, but the fact remained. The guy raised his hands and tried to understand if his spiritual energy had reached the rank of 400. The spirit stood over our hero as he sent the guy into the arena and thought about the fact that not long ago, our hero's speeches were so arrogant that he decided to see what he would say when he seemed to be in battle. At this time, above the two of them, the other spirits could be seen discussing the fact that Li Wei waited until they were distracted and sneaked up on the guy himself and called him pathetic. Because in his lifetime, he made it to the S rank, and maybe even in the same way that he fights our hero now, one of the spirits formed something in his hand and began to say that for the first time in hundreds of years, there came a junior. But for students, epic rank is too heavy. But he has an incredible physique, as if belonging to all classes at once. The young man really has an extraordinary talent. With the other spirits, something was going on. It was all at the hands of Luane. He was going against the rules. The other spirits were going to check on our hero as well. But they were stopped. At this time, our hero was trying to get his bearings and understand what was going on. And when he did, he came to the conclusion that the epic rank was so powerful that it was able to move him into the arena of the dream world. It was all very surprising. In an instant, he threw the sword from his hand away. In front of the guy was a spirit who was prompting our hero to attack first, saying that she was in the arena of the dream world. They both had rank E, being in the same position. If the spirit made a single mistake, our hero would pass the test. The guy was already smiling and asked about the same rank. The Feduk does not even use weapons in battle with him, and then asked if the spirit thinks that based on the experience of the S-rank war god can defeat him. Our hero began to perform all the tricks he had learned, while the spirit could not understand how this young man had such incomparable swordsmanship. While our spirit hero was attacking in every possible way, he still continued to reason and realized that even with a weapon in his hands, it would be difficult to resist such a merciless attack. In a second, our hero once again attacked his opponent, who seemed to have no idea what to do. In a moment, he realized that he could not dodge, making the spirit even angrier. Our hero stood proud of himself, leaning the tip of his sword right on the shoulder of a spirit of epic rank. And he in turn did not understand how this was possible. He did not understand how the skills that our hero was showing could be stronger than him. This spirit, such a feeling, will fight with the god of war at least SS rank, such a man he has not seen even in his lifetime, our hero was a true genius in the opinion of the spirit, and our hero at this time looking at his opponent asked him not to worry about him. At the moment when the guy demonstrated all his capabilities, he was already standing in a fighting posture, although his soul was too exalted, although no one saw it, and then he asked to give his best in this battle. At this time, the spirit had already taken a fighting stance as well and was thinking about how to attack. In an instant, he summoned his sword that he had thrown out originally. Bei Jin saw his opponent pull out his sword and flew towards him with all his might, while shouting for the guy to not hesitate and attack already. The two began to have an unpleasantly strong confrontation. The young man was too serious, but at the same time confident of his strength and capabilities. In an instant, our hero was able to slightly defeat his opponent. He knocked the sword out of the hands of the spirit. The young man was pleased that it took him only ten blows. After that, the young man told his opponent that he had lost, and there was no point in fighting any further. The spirit already looked less angry, so he simply echoed that he had indeed lost. Our hero was pleased with himself. He thought that it was a perfect passing of the test and realized that it should be enough to obtain the accompanying epic rank talent. With it, the starting point in this life would be much higher than in the past. But before he could finish his thought, the spirit of the epic rank dissolved, or rather, as if it had fallen through the ground and our hero tensed up a bit because he did not get his talent. The guy was a little bit tan. Did he really overdo it so much that the spirit disappeared with the ends? But the epic spirit could not do that. At that moment, the souls were still circling above our hero and his rival. And when the spirit returned to his body, his companions wondered why he returned so quickly, and whether the test was completed so quickly, and then assumed that since Lewin did not pass on the talent, then our hero lost. But why didn't our hero still return to consciousness? The spirits wondered. Our hero was still in the arena of the dream world, but why didn't the spirit of epic rank still complete the trial? The spirit majestically stood up and no less majestically announced that he had lost. The souls were puzzled. They all opened their mouths and couldn't understand how this was possible and even assumed that he was joking since they were both of epic rank. It was impossible. 
and even assumed that the spirit had given in on purpose. But Lewayne said that there was no giveaway. He was really defeated, and our young man's skills were not inferior to theirs, so the spirit had a plan. There was something wrong with the mountains. The spirits were confused. They didn't understand what their partner was up to, and he stood firmly on his feet and said that they should try something. The spirits tried to tell him that only the words of their companions were not enough to convince them of the solution. At this time, something glowing appeared in front of the boy, and his former adversary had another idea to make the plan even more abnormal. Our hero, at the sight of everything, tried to understand what finally happens, and at one point he began to sweat with excitement. He was waiting for something terrible. In front of our hero appeared six spirits of epic rank at once. Our hero did not expect that in the City of Dawn, in the most remote place, they starlight. There would be so many heroic spirits of epic rank. The guy did not understand what kind of fierce battles were fought there, when you. One of the spirits thought about the fact that our hero, at the sight of the six of them, did not even blink an eye. He wondered what his courage was backed up by. And then this old man turned to our hero saying that he had defeated Levi and received their approval, and now they wanted to offer our hero to pass a test of higher rank. The guy had to fight with them, six epic spirits. If he defeats them, each will give him his accompanying talent. If not, our hero will leave with nothing. The boy was a little worried and asked about the fact that if he defeated them, he would be able to obtain the epic talents of each class. Still standing in front of our hero suggested that he should think carefully, because he could also leave now with an epic rank warrior talent. One of the girls of epic rank said that judging by the look of our hero, he didn't have enough strength, so she suggested that he should give up and leave with what he had. And the other girl standing next to him said that she thought they would have fun now. The young man seemed to have lost his mind, and so he laughed a little, but he replied that the challenge was already over anyway, and said that he knew exactly what he was talking about. The guy drew his sword tighter, and looking directly at the spirits, he noticed that their determination to face the countless monsters and create a better world was still as strong as ever. The guy accepts the challenge and suggested to start quickly. Feel your beard noticed that our hero was overconfident, and another spirit of epic rank noticed that he was also arrogant and so much more interesting. Our hero still stood in a fighting stance, his soul rising above his body, he was truly determined. At the moment when the spirits flew at the young man, he was advised to be careful. But the guy glared at them, thinking that the six elders had known each other for many years, and they had a mutual understanding and some kind of agreement. So first, our hero must destroy it all. Looking at his opponents again, Bei Jin decided to first deal with the one who was always lurking in the dark. But in an instant, the hero began to sneak someone and tried to knock him down. But he didn't quite succeed as our hero noticed him. Turning around, he realized that the reflexes of an archer, it's not a joke. And swinging with all his might, he said that with the same wound, in a battle between a warrior and a thief, the second is not in an advantageous position. The man who attacked our hero was in slight shock. The thief flew an unknown distance away, crashing into a stone wall. Stumbling against the rocks, everyone concluded that the Vorpik-ranked thief was leaving the fight. Seeing what had just happened, the other epic-ranked spirits were confused, as it was only a single blow, and concluded that at this rate, our hero would defeat them all. At the moment when the young man flew everything that could have been, they still shouted at him not to be so confident, because from that moment, they began to fight seriously. The speed of the thief, the reaction of the archer, and it wasn't all that hard. But it was the wizard's insight that helped our hero the most. Our hero tried his best, but he didn't doubt for a second that he could lose even when he was enveloped by lightning. The elderly man, seeing our hero heading straight for him, tried to understand how the paralyzing lightning strike couldn't work. When the young man flew up to the elderly man, he thought about the fact that the physique and will of the knight blocking the magic. But I can tell that it is a close range for a warrior, a mage as fragile as a glass. Therefore, a mage of epic rank leaves the fight. Our hero was attracted by something. He turned around and saw an arrow flying straight at him. The guy went to the girl who was doing all this and struck back. He thought about the huge force she was striking, but at the same time the epic rank archer left the battle. The guy and the epic rank girl were confused and angry. The guy kept yelling that he couldn't keep track of our hero, and the girl asked him to hold him back, and she would summon a huge bear that would crush the guy. A few moments later, there was indeed a huge bear that was thirsty for blood. The guy really slowed down our hero. On his legs were rings that slowed down the action, and naturally from this, the young man could not move. It made him angry. The bear was already right beside Bi Jin, but the problem was that there were still rings on his legs. But at the moment when the bear's claws were right next to our hero's head, he was able to stop it by emitting some kind of impulses. The essence of the summoner means with the summoned monster. 
In an instant, something began to happen to the bear, and an explosion erupted next to it. A knight of epic rank leaves the battle. The girl was confused. She didn't realize how she had lost control of the bear. But while she was thinking about it, the satisfied face of our hero appeared next to her face, and he asked if the summoner, who had lost his keeper, had a chance to change the outcome of the battle. And a few seconds later, and the summoner of epic rank left the battle. Our hero looked at the one he had fought earlier and said that it had been too long and his comrades had lost. But then he asked why he was not attacking him, to which the man cheerfully replied that our hero had already defeated him earlier, and so there was no point in repeating it. The young man looked to the side and noticed how all the spirits of epic rank were standing, and the old man turned to our hero calling him a gifted young man and said that the guy had passed the test with six representatives of epic rank. In an instant, our hero was surrounded on all sides by spirits and began to direct something there, saying that our hero's body, will, fighting spirit, all of this is far superior to any test subject, including each of them in life, so asked to accept their talents. Guy closed his eyes and thought about receiving the talents of each class, but wondered if they could all exist in the same body. They all began to merge together. Guy sat fully concentrating the vital ints blending and the aura emanating from them already exceeded the epic rank. The epic rank spirits watching our hero were surprised at everything that was happening because the accompanying talent already exceeded the epic rank and they didn't understand what rank our hero had gotten then. In the last stage of the merger, there is a very high probability of failure. The hero tried his best to endure everything. There was no way he could fail. In our hero's hands, his heart was spinning. Since the emergence of the Awakened Ones, there were also various accompanying talents, iron, bronze, silver. In the minds of most, the gold rank was already considered the highest marriage of talent. And as for the epic rank, for most ordinary people, it was only a fairy tale. But after all, above the epic rank could also be something, an unprecedented mythic talent that our hero was most harmful to possess. Mythical character and brave heart. Brave heart is the strongest talent. It is manifested in the heat of battle after defeating the enemy. You can get its source, restore strength and increase power. The owner of brave heart bravely break through the difficulties. Safe he can ignite the spirit and blood, increasing his power tenfold. The epic rank spirits all smiled as one, and the oldest one said that he didn't expect that there was something above the epic rank, and they were honored to see such a miracle. After waiting for so many years, they have fought a worthy opponent. Now they will leave without regrets. Turning to our hero who was sitting in the lotus posture, still concentrating on his power, the spirit said that they hoped he would faithfully serve the city of dawn and the world at large for the sake of the starlight. The fire that framed the stone road was extinguished in an instant. Our hero began to pour something out of the bottle standing on one knee while saying that their wish he would surely fulfill. Our hero left the book in the bottle with some liquid. At this time, a girl who had obtained the gold rank was coming out of the gate. She was a famous daughter of the Lin family. People were not surprised that she was the one who obtained the gold rank, and some were trying too hard to obtain at least the bronze rank. The girl was happy. Beside her stood one of the sages who was smiling and said that the accompanying gold rank talent was a very amazing phenomenon. The girl was very embarrassed and said that it was all thanks to Senior Shi Gong and not surprising her at all. The sage could not calm down. He kept smiling and told the girl what a modest girl she was. Although this golden rank in the City of Dawn is received only once every ten years, turning to his friend said that some of the Guild of Warriors bragged about their strength before the test, but now is silent. The man pointed his finger at the person who had told him everything and said that his archery guild could only rely on luck. But sooner or later, the Warrior Guild would also have a chance to obtain the gold rank. Xi Gong smirked and said looking forward to it. The two men started arguing again. Meanwhile, the girl tried to look around and find our hero. After a moment, she realized that he still hadn't returned from the trial. People stood at the gate. They realized that soon it will close, so Shogun intended to say that the trial is over. But the girl tried to stop him by saying that it was not time yet. They had to wait for someone, to which the man replied that if someone had not yet returned, then his trial had failed. And before he could say anything, someone came out of the portal, went to our hero, who scratched his head and heard that they say all sorts of nasty things about him. Someone even suggested that he was just hiding there to avoid the test with the spirits. And the girl looking at how our hero passes by heard his name. The young man paid attention to the guys who were trying to hurt him in every possible way. Our hero stood surrounded by people who tried to figure out what rank he got in this test. In an instant, one man noticed our hero glowing and was very surprised. Bei Jin smiled and looked at the man. Someone speculated that it was a gold rank. 
People were shocked by the fact that there were already two people who had already obtained gold rank, and our hero only smiled and realized that the heart of a brave man is a talent that allows you to exhibit any rank. A demonstration of gold rank, just like in his previous life, is enough. It should attract the necessary attention from the Guild of Warriors. The guy was proud of himself, so he turned to the people who were teasing him, called them a bunch of idiots, and advised them to stop trying to ridicule others forever. Better let them think about how to improve their skills. In an instant, people were horrified, for they had crossed the path of the future big shot of Dawn City. The girl watched our hero leave and tried to understand how our hero got the golden rank. After all, he went to the deepest part of the forest, and there get a completely different. The guy turned to her and asked her to be silent, as if understanding her thoughts. The girl blushed slightly and began to wonder how many secrets our hero had, because he was in the deepest lands of starlight gifts. Our hero turned to the man who was staring at him all the time and asked if he was going to see us soon, because he had already passed these tests. The man tried to portray seriousness because he was the head of the Guild of Warriors, but he didn't quite manage to portray seriousness, so he smiled and put his hand on our hero's shoulder and praised him, and then said that it was not for nothing that their Guild of Warriors had put so much effort into his training. Although in fact all of them didn't even know of our hero's existence before, all of them were puzzled. The head of the Archer's Guild said that he didn't care, because the appearance of two gold-ranked warriors in this trial was already a historical event and should be reported immediately. At this time, everyone in Dawn City was surprised by the news that there were already two gold-ranked fighters, and every corner was already shouting that this was a historic event. People wanted to know who it was. Then it was reported that the first was the daughter of the Lin family, Lin Shi. But this was expected. But the second was not able to remember but later the name of our hero was called. The guy who threw our hero out of the mansion was quite surprised to hear our hero's name and the fact that he had obtained a gold rank. For a moment he was angry. The guy was furious. It was all too impossible after all. For years he had been plotting to kill him, and now he had surpassed everyone. Now the action unfolds in the City of Dawn, the Guild of Warriors. There was our hero, he was one of the participants of the test, who received a gold rank. Girls at the sight of him immediately fell in love, and men admired. Girls thought he was handsome. Everyone seemed obsessed with our hero. Some wanted to marry a girl who had just turned 17, and some assumed that he did not like girls at all. But our hero did not like such attention. He was even a little upset. He felt like he had underestimated the influence of the gold rank. In an instant, our hero was handed a folder and told that everything was ready. The folder was handed to our hero by a friendly man, and the head of the warrior guild standing next to him said that from now on, he was a full-fledged, awakened member of their guild. He, as the representative of the Warrior Guild of Dawn City, welcomed our hero and laughed a little. A moment later, the man began to leave, but noticing that the young man is standing in place, called him with him, saying that our hero needs to get a suitable reward. The boy saw the main man leave and smiled, thinking that the guild treats its members well. The men approached the treasurer of the Warrior Guild, Chen Guangyu, turning to Duan Jia. The man inquired about our hero and then called him a solid young man. The man handed our hero the reward that comes with the gold rank and asked Mr. Duan Jia to check it out. It was an unpredictable fist blade. The man holding the box smilingly said that it was one of the strongest skills of the warrior class and then called the treasurer too kind in gratitude. And the treasurer replied that their guild didn't often have gold ranked awakened ones, so they should put all their efforts into their development and at this moment, into our hero. The moment the chief opened the box, he saw the ten initial rank star stones. It was a great reward for the gold rank. At one time, Duan Jia only had one such stone. Our hero was leafing through a book at this time. In an instant, something caught his attention and he became a little nervous. The treasurer turned to our hero and told him that in the first few days after waking up, learning new skills is the most effective. So he advised him to start as soon as possible. Our hero smiled broadly and said that he would definitely start. A moment later, the treasurer entered the room where Fang Bing was, and at the sight of the man, he immediately jumped up and asked how everything went. The man leaned against the wall and said that he was many times more reliable in solving problems than him. The man said that the book that had been handed over had already been handed over to our hero, and he would start learning the skill and become insane in a couple of days. At that time, Fang Bing will have to send a request to the guild for a duel, and then he will get rid of our hero in front of everyone without a single miss. The guy smiled and said that the treasurer always does everything too perfectly, and if he could get rid of our hero, then the BEI family's inheritance would go to him, and then the treasurer would be thanked. The treasurer smiled and said that they were all just following orders from above, 
and the guy could handle the reward himself. Fang Bing was indeed obsessed. He believed that even though he was a gold-ranked genius, our hero would still die at his hands, and everything that belonged to his family would be his. At this time, our hero was looking at the book and realized that the one who handed over the unpredictable fist blade was also not easy. Even Duan Jia with his C rank couldn't recognize the problem, and if there was someone else in our hero's place, there would be trouble. Bei Jin thought about it, because according to the treasurer's actions, he was also involved in all of this. So our hero assumed that the whole situation has to do with Fang Bin, and later also remembered Song Kyung, the previous head of the awakened community and the disappearance of B.I. Jin's parents. All of this was very interesting, because there are so many behind the scenes around the B.I. family intrigue and mysterious personalities. So at the moment when he was looking at the book, our hero decided to play along with them all. And so after slamming it shut, he realized that the defect of imparting such talents to a newcomer was very primitive, so he could easily play it off, since they all wanted to play a ridiculous situation with such tricks. So be it. Our hero pushed the box with something glowing towards him and decided that when the time comes and Duan Jia is around, Chen Guan will not be able to interfere. Especially since the guy has 10 star stones, he will really need them. Star stones are crystals containing concentrated star phrase power. They are divided into initial rank, middle rank, higher rank, and so on. By absorbing Stargate energy through these crystals, the Awakened can quickly develop their power and improve their skills. It is considered a rare treasure. The young man frowned. He realized that although he was proficient in all the skills of high and even divine level, but if he wanted to quickly improve his strength, he would have to start from another place. And so again, taking the lotus pose, our hero began to act, even if he did not study this skill in his past life. But he knew for sure, unpredictable fist blade is a very strong entry-level skill. You can use it up to D, rank. Although to develop this skill is quite difficult, for our hero it does not mean anything. The guy needed to use his fist as a blade, handle it as if it were part of the flesh as part of the ball. The concept of this skill is quite unusual. A few key points of using spiritual energy were messed up, but the guy will be able to tweak it. Here he was already sitting in the fire circle and hoped that 10 initial rank 10 crystals would be enough to be able to fully master this skill. Around the guy began to circle these crystals, thus forming a blue vortex. The young man intended to start what he had planned. Well, seconds later, he paid attention to his fist which was glowing with purple light, but paid attention not because of the color, but because he was in pain. Something was really happening to the guy's hand. The light was lining up in the shape of a sword, as if someone had chipped his bones. In an instant, he did unclench his hand after all. Unpredictable fist blade was the strongest basic skill of the warrior class. The difficulty of inculcating it was a bit underestimated. Even though the guy had awakened all six classes at the same time, his strength and flexibility had improved dramatically but if the guy finished the training in one go, he might damage his hands. But if he finished it in 10 days or half a month, he would be fine. If any of the other warriors wanted to master this skill, he would need at least one year. Everything that was happening only fueled our hero's interest or challenge. Our hero again began to create something with his hand. It was all just a skill, a basic skill. The guy clenched his hand into a fist and he needed to concentrate. In an instant, his hand took the form of a shield that sparked with lightning. Our hero tried as hard as he could. A moment later, a sword appeared in his hand. This was the skill of an F-rank warrior, an unpredictable fist blade. The guy directed all his energy into the wall. A crack in the wall, the young man thought to himself that he had not wasted 10 starting rank star stones and a whole day to fully wield it. Smiling and looking at his blade, B.I. Jin thought that when he moved to the next rank, this skill would also rise to a higher level. And now that he had already finished everything, he could go out. A moment later, our hero found himself in the residence where Fang Bing was already waiting for him. He handed our hero a paper with the words that he challenged him to a duel to determine which of them will become the heir of the BEI family. The people were puzzled. All of them crowded around the young men standing opposite each other. Fang Bing asked our hero more nervously if he accepted the challenge. It was an official challenge. Fang Bing was out of his mind. But our hero stood firm and smiling. He really found the whole situation funny. Then he said that now he was also an awakened, so the inheritance remains to him, and calling the guy a noble brat, asked why he was meddling in his own business. All the people looked at Fang Bing and remembered that he was brought up in the B.I. family, and later began to wonder how he dared to bicker with our hero for the family's heritage, and since he had caused a scandal in their guild, he should definitely be expelled. 
but the guy justified himself by showing the paper, saying that it was the official seal of the awakened community, so he shouldn't poke his nose into it. It was all about the BAE family. People didn't understand how the community had allowed this conflict to occur, and some people assumed that there were some idiots at the top who were doing things the hard way, but they had to be careful of their words so as not to get themselves in trouble. Fang Bing still did not calm down. He continued to say that the family's estate has already been transferred to his name, and if our hero does not accept the challenge, he automatically waives all claims to the estate. Although here the house is the home of our hero, the house where the B.I. family has raised all the years. The young man stood and tried to erase you with all his might. He realized that he was angry, because this is how he is affected by the memories of the young man, in whose body he had become, looking at his opponent. He realized that his free scum was not even worth his anger. The guy kept waving the paper and asking if our hero was ready to accept the challenge not for life, but for death. He kept smiling, waiting for an answer. In an instant, our hero snatched the paper from his hand so quickly that no one noticed it at all. So the scoundrel stood in complete confusion, and our hero carefully studied. Looking at his hand, the guy still could not understand how it happened. And our hero at this time showed the paper and with full seriousness said that he accepts the challenge. The young man watched our hero and wondered how it could have happened, because he did not even notice the movements of our hero, and suggested that such changes may be due to the awakening of the golden rank. But here he was already frowning and thinking that it was very good that they had edited the teachings of the unpredictable Lucky Blade. He would be waiting when in the middle of the battle, our hero would suddenly become uncontrollable. The young man was already in a fighting stance. He was intent on killing our hero. The space around these two was cleared. They did not interfere with the battle. The scoundrel stood in a fighting pose, and our hero just watched the scene without moving. In an instant, Fang Bing was enveloped by something green. And after a moment, he was already near our hero. It was a bronze rank talent jerk. The young man decided to use his snake attack. Our hero, as if expecting this moment, in an instant was able to repel the attack. But it seems that the enemy was surprised by our action. And our hero saw the surprise, asked if he again decided to use this technique, and advised to think of something new. The guy was sweating from nerves. He did not understand how our hero grabbed him with one hand. He managed to dodge. How is this possible? So our hero decided to use a miraculous modified skill. The guy for all his strength hit his opponent, so that he collapsed and even began to form around the sparks from such a strong friction. The guy demolished everything in his path, but eventually he managed to get up. Looking at our hero, the guy didn't understand why nothing happened. Looking at B.I. Jin, the people cheered. They were happy that he had beaten Fong Bin with little to no effort. Because this way, the Thieves Guild would see their power, and Fong Bin was just a scum. The guild leader was watching. He told his partner that it was not for nothing that this is a golden rank, which appears once every few years. You know, the hero has mastered the unpredictable fist blade in just one day, and has already brought it to such a level that without straining can crush a thief E rank. But the interlocutor asked if this is not common for all gifted. He attacked his opponent, again attacking with his new gift. The guy tried to dodge as much as he could, but he failed. So a moment later, Fang Bing was once again hit by our hero. The guy woke up a little bit and admitted that he did not expect his opponent to be so alive. Fang Bing, not badly beaten, smirked, pulled back his sweatshirt and asked our hero if he thought he would wear a protective gold vest and called our hero a lowly warrior who could not do anything to him. People at the sight of this said that it was too disgusting because he had challenged our hero to a fight but he wore a protective vest, but others objected that it was not forbidden by the rules. A guy with a crazy look and a nasty grin turned to our hero and said that last time he was very lucky, but now he must die. A moment later and he was already flying at our hero, who again stood unmoving. The guy decided to use a double snake attack, but our hero clearly expecting it, headed towards his opponent calling him a narrow-minded jerk. Our hero was really starting to get angry. In an instant, they merged in a duel, Fang Bing with his swords and our hero with a well-mastered skill. Neither of them were going to retreat. In an instant, Fang Bing opened his eyes too wide in surprise. He did not understand how our hero so easily fought off the double snake attack. And our hero smiling asked, Did he really think that our hero did not know that it holds years on him? How did he realize, from the first strike, just decided to play along, and then asked the guy that saw a glimmer of hope, then again disappointed, and it is very unpleasant. After saying this, our hero was already smiling and said that now there will be no mercy, it is worth feeling the real power of the unpredictable fist blade. And with all his might, that blade slammed into Fong Bing's face. After the blow was followed by a few more, all the while our hero was balanced, 
while his opponent was flailing from side to side. In an instant, he had already started to fall backwards out of helplessness. In the end, Fang Bing collapsed to the floor with a thunderous crash, and a little raised he asked our hero, who stood opposite and watched, why nothing happens? And our hero asked if he really wondered why, after learning this skill, nothing happens to him. The guy leaned on the wall and was incredibly surprised to find out that our hero knew everything. Bi Jin just smirked and said that if his opponent was stupid, it did not mean that the others were the same. Then he leaned down and told him as much as possible that he would let him live after all. And looking at the guy's frightened face, he asked him to tell him who was behind all this and about his parents, in which case the guy would be forgiven. But in an instant, something strange began to happen to the guy. He started coughing and something was spilling out of his mouth. The guy was coughing up blood, and our hero watching the whole picture realized that he had poison in his mouth. On the face of the guy stood up black stripes that only proved that he was really poisoned. But he smilingly said that our hero will never know what happened to his parents. And even if our hero is gifted, his powers are still weak. Looking at the angry boy, Fang Bing concluded his sentence by saying that he would be crushed, just like a small ant. And after saying that, the guy dropped dead. But our hero thought only that this selfish and ungrateful scoundrel would be willing to die, but not reveal the truth. And after a moment more seriously came to the conclusion that it seems that those who are completely behind it has a lot of power in the city of Dawn. And now that Fang Bing died, but uncertain will take the next step, and it will again put our hero in danger. But turned around he smiled, and thought the hell with all this. Guys couldn't wait to see how much Yu who is hiding behind the scenes. And the moment the young man was leaving the building thought that now he is only a lowly F. Rank, he is very weak, but given the situation, increasing combat power priority task. At that moment, there was a society of awakened people on the outskirts. Our hero was sitting in a room and was obviously going to study something because he was very focused. There was a crystal in his hands. But in an instant, for some unknown reason it somehow scattered and turned into sand or ashes. Our hero opened his eyes I was surprised at this physique as the rate of energy entanglement is too high, and he spent the last star stone. The guy thought for a moment, because when he got F rank, his spiritual energy was 105. But at the moment, he had already spent 245 units. In theory, one star stone equaled 10 units of spiritual energy. But this is just a theory in reality. While mastering the skills of an awakened person, most of the energy is wasted. The percentage of absorption is 10, in fact, for an ordinary awakened person. When mastering a skill, if the percentage of energy absorption reaches 10, it is already a good result. If the percentage of absorption is 30 and above, then our hero will already be considered a gifted awakened one. After spending 20 star stones of the initial rank, our hero had gained 141 points, meaning that the absorption percentage was 70. In his previous life, even when using the secret technique of the epic rank infinite gong key, the absorption percentage was only 40. It seems that in this body, this technique would reveal itself in all its glory. The guy would have been told that this place was only the outskirts of the awakened community, so the stellar energy there was limited. Otherwise, it seems that in this time, our hero would be able to rise to 300 units of spiritual value. Needing his shoulder, the guy thought that Song Qiang was really asking for it. First, the guy had already gathered with Fang Bing, then and went to retrieve the B.I. family's estate. But at the moment when he had to deal with it, the guy with glasses told him that after the estate passed into the possession of Fang Bing, but no longer has anything to do with the B.E.I. family. And when Fang Bing dies, the estate is transferred to the possession of the awakened community. The guy continued to tell our hero that he is an awakened, but is only F rank. So there will be a dedicated community apartments. And after saying that, he ordered him to disappear. But our hero just grinned, but nevertheless angry said that this estate for some reason for everyone is too tidbit. But nevertheless, the guy realized that that person is an awakened C-rank strength with the current strength. Our hero will not be able to resist him, need to improve skills, and then it will be seen. But at one point, the guy for some reason thought about it. It seemed to him that he had miscalculated something. As he frowned, he remembered that the BEI family had enough money left in their account to buy 20 star stones of the initial rank. So it seemed that A hadn't used up much energy over the years to make up for the shortcomings of his body. The guy took his hand away from his head and exhaled. After all, he couldn't think that there would be a day when he would have a headache due to money problems. In the palm of his hand was the badge that he had been given the moment he attained the gold rank. At that instant, he began to emit a soft blue color for some reason. A plaque appeared in front of him, with all the information about him, so the guy decided that he needed more star stones. He needed to familiarize himself with the tasks of the guild. Then maybe he could earn some money. 
The tasks were funny, for example. It was necessary to return the underwear. Looking at this guy thought about it, the grapes of these tasks were good. But merit little give. A hundred points of merit are exchanged for one star stone initial rank. The guy seriously thought about trying the tasks of D, rank. And suddenly, what if it and will work out? Our hero remembered all those detractors who tried to oppose him. But after successfully completing the task of this rank, immediately after waking up will attract a lot of attention. Now our hero is under the wing of the Guild of Warriors, so no one will not dare him even. But if you overdo it, then all these important lumps will immediately hatch. And in the meantime, he cannot openly oppose them. The guy looked at the tasks and wondered how he could make money without attracting much attention. A second later, a brilliant idea struck him. The guy began to study a quest that required him to explore the surroundings of a forest of moss, where the reward was 20,000 and 20 merits. It seemed to him that there was something interesting in this forest. At this time in the suburbs on the dislocation of the Awakened, our hero stood at the sign and looked away, a forest of moss. And our hero was pulled out of his thoughts by a girl who called him by name. It was the same girl, which our hero helped during the test, and looking directly at the young man, she weighed asked if he also accepted the task with a forest of moss. The guy could not understand how this girl was there again, and so just nodded quickly. The girl ran to our hero and began to nourish something about some coincidence, and even offered to join their ranks. Our hero did not understand why this girl came so close. He was even a little embarrassed to be at such a distance. But this timid dialogue was interrupted by a man who turned to Lin Shi, saying that she should first ask the commander before naming someone to the team. Our hero frowned hearing these words. It was an E-ranked knight, Lawson. He sternly informed that for an E-ranked team, an F-rank would only be a burden. The girl began to vindicate our hero, saying that our hero was not a burden, but he was just smiling at this time. Almost immediately after the girl called our hero by name, another man ran up to them and yelled at the knight for speaking so rudely. Later he said that our hero was a member of the test, who this time, like the girl, received a gold rank. It was an E-ranked archer, Tunbo, with our hero, and extended his hand saying words of welcome to the team. Our hero held out his hand and smilingly thanked for the courtesy. At this time, somewhere in the side, Lawson, trying to understand what's wrong with the gold rank, because after all, he is now an ordinary warrior F, rank, and for their team, it's just a burden. But the commander at that moment ordered him to stop talking nonsense. The guys had to move out, and so they all headed into the forest. Some incomprehensible sounds were heard in the forest at night. The boys bravely fought the forest monsters without noticing anything on their way. The beautiful archer drew the bowstring of her bow and tucked a fire arrow into it. The monster was struck by the burst of fire and had no chance of survival. It was an E-rank monster curled up ebony. Its entire body was emitting green nature energy. One of the monsters made another lunge towards the girl, but she was heroically saved by the guy with the shield. The bow was already filled with fire arrows and it was only a matter of time before they were released. There was another powerful explosion, which illuminated everyone present with a bright red light. And indeed, the commander had dealt with the E-rank monster with lightning speed. The task of the E-rank is not always able to ordinary F-rank. Our hero was informed of this by his comrade, but it is not really clear why he needs this information. The girl was puzzled. She told the guy that the first arrow was hers. And if this upstart thinks that she is too worthless for this case. The guy was confused and assured her that he wasn't talking about her. The girl did not calm down at all and continued her game. At one moment, the guy had a special flair, and he was able to determine that they were about to be attacked from the bushes. And indeed, near the girl's face in a second, flew an arrow that could certainly pierce her eye. If not for our hero, who with a completely relaxed look caught the arrow, protecting the girl from mortal danger. According to the guys, the man who wanted to destroy them was in the bushes, which drew the attention of our hero. And indeed, the thief of E-rank was running away from them at the speed of light. The guys could only see his outline. Next to him was a twisted tree archer of E-rank. Something inexplicable happened, and clots of purple energy began to blur in the air. The archer was destroyed and the guys watched solemnly. The girl thanked the savior in embarrassment, but our hero reminded everyone once again that they were a team. One of the guys was very dissatisfied with something, and on his face read an unknown rage. Our hero, as if he understood everything without words, his gaze went somewhere deep into the forest. There was indeed something wrong with this part of the moss forest. The glow of the stargate and the breath of darkness, the struggle between these two opposites, never ends. As long as there is darkness under the starlight, amidst the darkness, there will be glimpses of the starry sky. There will be a balance of everything existing. The slight fluctuations of the breath of darkness in any area makes the monsters here manifest. 
That is why in the outskirts of the forest have appear more and more monsters. Of course, our hero is not interested in this, but that as the darkness thickens will appear more and more unusual treasures, and this is his main goal. Coming out of the trance, our hero noticed something else. His comrade announced that the last star beacon had been set, and the task of exploring the surroundings of the moss forest was complete. The order was given to return to camp. Our hero was very much intrigued by this proposal and decided for himself that he would definitely come back here. Not all the fighters agreed with the commander's decision. One of them said that the reward is not enough for all, and therefore it is not time to revive. The commander tried to say something, but he was interrupted by his fighter. Their team is strong enough that they can go deeper into the forest and see what else they can gather. In the commander's mind, the puzzle came together, and he decided that the suggestion was not a stupid one. All the fighters were in agreement with the commander, and it seems that here was the beginning of a new challenge. Immediately, our hero tried to kick out of the team, because when they move deeper into the forest, he with his low rank will be a burden to them. Our hero is already used to the fact that he is constantly trying to chase away, so did not pay absolutely no attention to it. The girl with an angry expression said that our hero had earned a gold rank and had a place in the team. The commander said that the moss forest was indeed a high-ranked area, and the danger level was much higher, so the guy should really leave this place. The girl was very upset by this decision. Tears began to come to her eyes. But our hero decided to accept his fate without objection, because it would be a really smart decision to leave the team. But in fact, he just wanted to go alone, and the commander's decision only played into his hands. The commander patted our hero on the shoulder, saying that the strength of their team is limited, but they will definitely share the reward with him. One of the team members was very happy about this decision, because now the man he dislikes so much will be gone. The aura of the forest has intensified, and it is quite dangerous for the team to go deep into the forest. Our hero saw off with a look of hope that they will meet again someday. Those two were not awakened warriors. They were probably bodyguards sent by the Lin family to guard the girl. It was unclear why the guy remembered this, but now he was alone. He should get down to business as soon as possible. Our hero jumped into a tree or towards it. The guy sat down and thought then that in the place he was in, the concentration of dark aura was much stronger than in the suburbs. He realized that people prefer to live at the Stargate, and these amazing creatures also prefer places with an aura picked up by them. Behind him, he could already see a rank E monster, a rabid, gnarled ebony, but the young man did not even realize it. But in an instant, our hero turned and noticed it. He realized that the mad monster under the influence of dark aura decided to attack from hiding. One day, this would not work for our hero because he possessed a rare gift that he received the moment he joined the Warriors Guild. With all the rage he had, he destroyed the poor creature. But only blue streaks appeared on the creature's body. Our hero looked at his opponent and realized that he used 70% of his strength and was only able to break through the monster's defenses. But even this is not enough. These black trees are very afraid of fire. So the guy decided to ignite his palm. You want to still in this body and has not mastered such a class spell, but to cause a small flame fire will not be any difficulty at all. The guy decided to use the flame and the unpredictable fist blade. This tree in the guise of a man was rushing towards our hero, who was rushing towards him. After a couple seconds, the guy was already attacking his opponent with fire. Knowing the monster's weaknesses and using the right skills, you can succeed. Even monster ranks with staple defense can be defeated in just one hit. But summoning flames and combining it with the unpredictable fist blade skill was costly. Spiritual energy was expended too much. It seems necessary to start mastering other skills our hero should as soon as possible. The young man stood imperiously over the ashes of the tree and rejoiced in his victory. And in an instant, his tongue stuck out. Energy regenerates quickly. And with each battle, his skills will be more and more effective. Brave hearts recovering energy. After defeating an enemy, one can get the source of his power, restore his power, and become stronger. This is a true gift. Because this way, our hero doesn't even have to worry about the duration of the battle. Our hero was still standing by the ashes, but now he was trying to find something. He had a stone in his palm, and as the darkness thickened, these impure ostolites infused with black aura began to appear in the bodies of the black trees. The star power in this astrolite is only a tenth of what is contained in star crystals. However, these ostrolites contain large amounts of dark energy, and in the hands of an ordinary person, this astrolite can be extremely dangerous. Even if one of the awakened is found to be a starlight, it's useless to them. But our hero is not one of them. He tried to do something with it. Our hero knows the epic secret art, which is enough to purify the dark energy of the starlight and get the pure energy of the stars. At this time, as our hero was meditating, he was being stealthily watched by similar monsters. 
The hero realized this trick and so smirked because she realized that there is a large stock of Australites. A couple of seconds later, and he jumped up in full combat readiness, he was going to get all possible Australites. From all sides, these crazy pieces of wood came at our hero. The guy was smashing them one by one. The trees ignited very easily, all thanks to our hero. The guy was full of rage and therefore partly did not see who and what were on his way. In an instant, one tree managed to touch our hero, and he was very surprised. It turns out that the wood managed to wound our hero in the stomach. The guy stopped and realized that he had overdone it. But with such a strong body, with the skill of insight mage and agility and archer, he was able to quickly react to the enemy's attacks. Wanting black trees in E rank, it's getting a bit much and the guy was in danger. The young man was determined. He was already on fire. He could not be bothered. Our hero attacked his opponent with even more force. A strong physique along with the heart of a brave man will help him dodge the monster of rank E. This kind of fight is something that he could not even think of as a rank. The young man was satisfied because at this rate, he would reach E rank in a short time. But there was something that attracted him and made him a little dazed. He could not understand what was going on. It turned out that the corpses of those black trees had been absorbed by another tree, and they were flying everywhere. Our hero was not ready for this, because the strange things happening in that forest of moss exceeded all his expectations. The huge tree really began to move. The young man found himself surrounded by the tree, and the entrance was blocked. The guy was in trouble again. The young man looked at the tree and realized that because of these trees, it seems that the forest of moss is actually alive. The guy noticed the twigs behind him wriggling and trying to grab him. In an instant, they began to wrap around his body, but it began to glow. The rods wrapped around a pile of rocks instead of our hero. The guy managed to jump away from such a highly destructive power. Facing such a situation, being in a forest that is like a living organism, even a small team of E rank, yes, and awakened D rank could not do much. Your hero is just an ordinary F rank. He is useless here. His strength is not even enough to match the D rank. All you have to do is dodge the bad stuff. The boy realized that now he needed to get a talent like infinite force accumulation. This secret skill will allow blood and spiritual energy to circulate in the body. At a slow speed, without sudden movements, a person becomes like stone and is hard to recognize. This will help him survive in the forest. Tree monsters don't have eyes and in this form they can't recognize him. Our hero has realized that with such a drastic change, the source of the forest energy has mutated. To prevent it, we must find its source, which is very difficult to do. Something caught our hero's attention. It seemed that the gnarled trees had tracked him. But as it turned out, the target of these monsters was not a young man. Overcoming a huge distance with his jumps from the monsters escaped some obscure creature. It seemed to be a small wooden monster with green blood flowing through its veins. His name was Groom and he seemed so defenseless that at some point our hero felt sorry for him. The creature sat down and curled up with his arms around his head, hoping that he would not be touched. Except the twisted trees didn't think so. They continued their hunt while the boy rescued the innocent creature. The groom sat in our hero's arms and thanked him in his own incomprehensible language. The guy tried to communicate with it, but it is a very interesting creature. It has a lot of stellar energy in its body, and the dark aura did not affect it in any way. Groom clapped his hands and smiled. He didn't know human speech. But he understood it perfectly and it surprised our hero, because the creature is quite intelligent and can think. Deciding to try his luck, our hero asked the tree creature if he knew where in the forest is the source of dark aura. And it seems that the little tree creature knew the answer to this question, because he led our hero with him. The boy decided to find the source of the dark energy by all means, so he grabbed the creature and ran to where it was pointing. In another part of the forest at the same time there was a battle of tree monsters. Already familiar to us heroes reflected attack after attack, not giving the monsters a chance. Most of the monsters were destroyed by directed fire energy, which turned them into ashes in a second. The monsters did not leave their pathetic attempts to destroy the heroes. But time after time, the fireball sent them to the other side. The girl began to tell how to deal with three high-ranking black trees at a time to be effective, and our hero is not so much needed now. The girl's anger was uncontainable. How could that scum-sucking upstart say that about the three high-ranked monsters because fighting them was too dangerous for their team? She only hoped that Bi Jin was doing well now. His skills were not as simple as they seemed. Except there was one small problem that caused confusion among the team. The bodies of the slain black trees were disappearing from the battlefield without leaving a single trace behind. The forest is consuming the bodies of the black trees, and this can only mean one thing. Now our heroes are in danger. The branches of the black trees began to approach one of the team members. They wrapped around his body and made his breathing slow. The branches were restraining him, and it seemed that now there was little chance of survival. 
He only begged in vain for mercy and cried for help. Strange changes began to take place, for these trees are not as simple as they seem. The team decided that the best thing for them to do now was to leave, but only their comrade turned into a human awakened. These trees absorbed him and made him their slave. It is even scary to imagine what would happen if they could take the whole team. After seeing this transformation, the team was horrified. No one understood how their comrade could be taken by the black tree after all. It is the same rank as a human, except it wasn't their comrade anymore. It was a demonic creature that was bent on destroying the human species. The only solution is to release a fiery arrow. Of course, you have to say goodbye to your friend, but there is no other choice. The fire arrow was released, and the demon had not much time left. The wooden tentacles wrapped around the fire arrow, preventing it from reaching its target. The man was shocked. It must be an evolved monster after all. No one had ever been able to resist his fire arrow before. The commander was in danger, for the demonic creature was already directing all its energy towards him. He froze in anticipation of something inevitable. He could not believe his eyes. There were only a couple seconds left before the creature would claw him with its paws. Only a magical gust of wind stopped the creature and prevented it from carrying out its sinister plan. The guy started to turn back into a normal human again, falling to his knees. But the wind gust skill is of the highest rank, so the person who used it is an awakened person of the highest rank. As it turned out, under the hood was a man who was forced by the desperate situation to reveal himself. The girl seemed to understand absolutely everything, but she didn't show any sign of it. He had been sent by her family to protect her from the dangers of the forest. It annoyed her that her parents didn't consider her a person capable of dealing with their own problems. The fighters that had appeared out of nowhere began to fight in the tree spear that did not die. Huge columns of green energy spread throughout the forest. The creature was very strong and fighting it was like death. What was especially terrifying was that the development of this creature was very rapid. It was mutating every second. Its development was very fast. If this continues, our heroes will not come out of this battle alive. The creature thought the same. It was screaming furiously and smashing everything around it. The best option to solve this problem was to find the creature's weak spot and run away at that time. But the girl said that she would not go anywhere because it was her duty to fight alongside her comrades. But no one heard her, and a gust of wind broke all the branches on her way. She began to fall into this green vortex, and this fall was not controlled by anything. Crawling under the malicious roots, the girl prayed and asked the higher powers to help. But apparently no one heard her because two more monsters appeared on her path. Gathering all the remaining strength, the girl rushed away, breaking away from the chase. But gradually, the strength left her and she realized that she could no longer run. One of the monsters instantly jumped at her from the bushes and she did not even have time to realize what happened. It was like that. Her friends sacrificed their lives for her and she couldn't even escape. But apparently, she wasn't going to die that day. The fire vortex had destroyed every single monster. She looked at her savior and couldn't believe her eyes. Yes, friends, it was the hero B.E. Jin, the hero we know. He came to help his friend, but he was very curious about where the others were. But the girl was shocked that such a low-ranked fighter could easily deal with three top-ranked monsters. During their conversation, three more monsters decided to visit them. The battle was not over yet. The guy put his arm around her waist, causing her to be wildly indignant. How dare he touch her? But our hero warned the girl that if she did not shut up now, she would be thrown to be eaten by this monster. A group of monsters approached them, but they went into their protective dome and the monsters did not see them. The girl was puzzled. She saw the monsters walking around them and didn't notice. Yes, it was all because of our hero's new skill. The skill he had mastered helped them survive now. The boy was very embarrassed as the girl pressed close to him, making him blush. The dark forest held a lot of secrets, and it also held a lot of tree monsters. The guys sat down in a secluded place and decided to talk. Our hero was very much interested in what happened to his friends. How Thieves D rank could not cope with these monsters this question very much worried the guy. The girl was puzzled, her face covered with sweat and a chill ran through her body. How could the boy know such information, since he wasn't around? The girl looked at our hero with a furious look and asked how he knew that there were D-rank awakened ones among the team. The guy only believed her that he had eyes and saw everything. After all, these two didn't even hide their abilities, and in the battle before they revealed them, the girl just didn't notice it. After all, she is a gold-ranked archer and must have high perceptiveness. But even she couldn't notice such a thing. This is nowhere good. The girl cried. She realized that absolutely useless for the team if she was stronger, she would easily identify the imposters. But our hero was not moved by these tears. He only looked menacingly at the girl, asking her to explain the situation. The girl choked with tears and tried to squeeze out at least a couple of words. Our hero looked at her and realized that the whole situation with the Forest of Moss is the same as he expected. 
But at one point, the beauty realized that our hero can hide from these creatures. So now they need to go to the camp and tell their friends everything so that they can send a rescue team. The boy said that when the rescue team gets here, their friends will not be able to help them. And these tree creatures weren't that dangerous because with the right approach, even a low-ranking awakened person could handle them. But inside, he realized that if there were only two D-rank awakened ones in the team, they were doomed to perish. He just didn't want to upset the girl. The girl didn't understand how this could be, after all. After their friend was struck by the tree, even two higher-ranked awakened ones couldn't deal with him. The guy realized that without him, they cannot cope with these problems. He asked the girl to take him there, and then they will deal with what is happening. And in the woods, the mortal battle continued. The initiative was shifting from one side to the other, but the tree monster was still not defeated. The D-rank awakened realized that his strength was running low, but he would fight to the last drop of blood. The guys sat in the tree and watched everything that was happening. With the protective dome covering them, they were safe. Now their team needed help. They couldn't handle it. Our hero said something the girl never expected to hear. She's the only one who has a chance to save her friends. In this situation, our hero is powerless. The guy said that the girl needs to learn to use her gift because she inherited the golden rank that was once in her ancestors. For all this time, she has never used any skills. And now it's that time. You that friends are in danger, only gold rank skills can save them. Wants to save them or she must learn how to use her skills right now. There's no time to think, it's now or never. She must use her heart and go deep into her thoughts to learn how to use her abilities. Indeed, as soon as she delved into the depths of her mind, her golden power awakened, a yellow glow filling her head. A golden mark appeared on her forehead, signifying that the golden rank archer skill had been activated. Our hero realized that he could take her as his apprentice, and she would quickly reach the highest rank. But then he remembered how he was betrayed by his apprentice from his past life. The girl opened an unusual vision. She saw everything that could not see ordinary people. Around their comrade were about ten black trees that could attack at any time. But this information was not enough to win. The girl tried to focus all her strength and skills in one place to see more. She needed to see where the monster's energy was accumulating in order to win. She was able to do that. The monster's energy was accumulating in the lower part of their body in the form of a purple sphere. Our hero realized that what took their comrade is the cause of all the weirdness in the forest of moss. The forest is now as if merged together. In the body of the guy now the power of ten black trees and it will not be so easy to defeat. But if you hit his weak point, then there is a chance. The girl realized she could hit his weak spot with her arrow. But our hero didn't like that kind of eagerness. He told her she shouldn't get smart. After all, she is only a mid-rank archer, and her fire arrow will not penetrate the defense of the monster and only attract attention. The girl looked guiltily at our hero, realizing that she had almost done something stupid. She asked him to help. The guy said that because the guys did not think they got into this situation. After all, if you're an archer and can't penetrate the target's defenses, aren't there other options? The girl's eyes glistened and there was a sense of victory in the air. In this case, an ice arrow fired with special energy could help. Indeed, the arrow hit the monster's weak spot and its body began to freeze. The ice rose higher and higher without giving the creature a chance. Now it was time for our hero. Now he will get rid of the monsters that have tormented this forest for many years. The girl was very happy that she had managed to hit the creature with the ice arrow the first time. She turned towards our hero and told him to hurry up. Although her ice arrow has great power, it doesn't last very long. The guy understood without words and rushed towards the evil monster. Although the guy seems to be a cold and indifferent person, but he is never late at important moments. In fact, he has a cold face but a warm heart. But our hero was going to do something else. He wasn't going to save his friends. He was going to kill the possessed man to prevent more deaths. The girl shouted in vain to our hero that her arrow would not hold the monster for long, so he should not go near it. Our hero had only one chance. Either he destroys the monster with one blow, or he has very little chance of escape. Yeah, the level of the possessed is very high, but our hero wouldn't be a hero if he didn't take a chance. The demon did have the defense of a D-rank monster, and our hero approached him. Well, our hero was confident, because his plan was worked out before the girl released the ice arrow. Fists began to turn into blocks of fire the monster was going to die today. Fire reunited with ice. Like yin and yang, these two elements were going to form something incredible. The initial force of the collision of two forces, such as fire and ice, could create a huge destructive force at once. And that was what finally began to happen. A huge pillar of fire erupted from the monster's body, destroying it. The girl was puzzled by the situation, not understanding how our hero was able to break the defense of this monster. Inside, the creature was a dark core that was eating it from the inside. 
which stored absolutely all the power of this creature. But our hero wasn't done yet. He gathered all the energy of his fiery fist in one hand to do to the monster what he did to his friend. One more punch, and a wave of red fire energy traveled towards the tree. The dark core began to fly apart. The comrade of our heroes began to free himself from that tree's embrace. He remembered absolutely nothing. His face was as naive as a child's. And instead of words of gratitude, he immediately attacked our hero with reproaches. The guy had absolutely no reaction to it. He only mocked this insolent boar. There is a natural advantage in confronting the dark forces, but because of the fact that this brazen man had a fragile mindset, he gave the dark force a chance to master himself. The knight began to suspect that what happened to him was planned by our hero. He angrily rushed towards him with threats and shouts that it was our hero who planned it all. Our hero absolutely casually repelled this attack and sent his ill-wisher into flight. The man's body thudded to the ground and a purple-colored stone popped out of it. Our hero looked at this sight without a drop of regret, for a soul full of ignorance and envy is not worthy of it. He picked up the stone from the ground and gradually the stone began to extinguish. The guy began to feel the presence of some strange forces, his body as if began to burn. He began to come into contact with dark energy. This cage made of dark branches and trees faded, and the evil aura in this area also became quite weak, but still something paranormal could be felt here. At one point, the girl came down from the tree to see if her team was all right, but the guy assured her that they had only fainted due to fatigue and their lives were not in danger. The girl thanked the guy, because if it wasn't for him, they wouldn't have survived in this place. The guy approached her, said he wanted thanks in a non-verbal way. Lost, she didn't know what the guy meant by that expression. Does he want to take her, but it's no wonder. After all, she is the first beauty in her town. Asked if the girl remembered her words in the professional exam, it seems he wants the wrong thing for her. The girl started to remember and realized that the guy wanted everything that happened here to remain a secret. He assured the girl that the forest was safe for now and she could stay. But the guy has a more important mission now. He needs to find out the origin of all these mutations in the forest. This seemed to interest the girl very much, for her eyes widened to a huge size. The boy wandered thoughtfully through the forest, trying to comprehend what had happened to him. All the black trees had withered away. It looked like killing the possessed man must have absorbed the power from the source of the mutation. But the position of the source was hard to find. It's hard to find the location if you don't have a little tree friend. But our hero has one, and now it's time for him to show what he can do. The creature showed our hero the direction of their movement guy decided not to hesitate. They came to a huge tree with massive roots and dark, thick branches. With this smell of decay and evil, the source of the mutation must be somewhere nearby only. It seems that along with this aura, another type of fluctuation is mixed in. The creature pointed its little finger in the direction of travel again, and a huge blue vortex began to form inside the tree. I'm surprised that the source of the mutation is hidden in a giant tree. Someone must have been very reluctant to find it. The boy began to slowly but surely make his way inside the cave with due apprehension. This place was scaring not only him but his little friend as well. Our hero realized that the source of the mutation could also give rise to pure tree spirits like his new friend, and that was really impressive. But all the way here there was no sensation of an ominous aura. It seems that might mean something. At one point something really startled our hero and made him stop. Inside the tree was some kind of incomprehensible settlement, as if someone even lived here. This architectural style is completely different from human. Is it really the source of mutation? Because in this city there is no trace of demonic forces. The guy began to look at the architecture that mesmerized him. Suddenly, from behind the trees, showed huge red eyes. Our hero is not alone. This place really has a powerful evil aura that exerts a terrible pressure. And with the current strength of our hero to go to this place is the same as going to his death. Maybe first he can strengthen his strength if he can reach the highest rank and generally increase his strength, then he can destroy this monster to rid the forest of the evil spirit. But there seems to be absolutely no time for that. Yes, he is not far from the highest level, and the intermediate level stone can help him, but it contains a huge amount of dark energy that is hard to purify. At one point his little companion began to panic very badly. He again pointed our hero to some place and begged him to take him there. The guy obediently carried out all the orders of the creature, after all, it has much more experience in this world. The little guide led him to a place where a huge, scary tree was growing. The creature released a stream of green energy from his finger, and miracles began to happen. The tree began to grow out of nowhere, and spheres of incomprehensible origin began to fly around it. In each of them, some event was recorded. In one of the spheres, we can see that it was a place that was built by relatives of our comrade. All this was destroyed in one moment. 
Our hero realized that his comrade wants to get behind the fence to see the places where he used to live. It is impossible to refuse such a cute little creature. Our hero felt the same way, but he didn't want the little guy to be upset, as his village had been destroyed long ago. He took the baby on his back and prepared to jump. A couple of seconds and they were already behind the fence, and our hero was filled with hope that the family was able to escape and not fall into the hands of monsters. But what he saw disappointed him greatly. Dozens of dead bodies breathlessly lay on the earth, some preserved completely, some were torn to pieces. At the sight of his relatives, the kid couldn't hold back the tears that dripped from his eyes. The boy closed his friend's eyes so that he would no longer look at this nightmarish sight, because this is the darkness and cruelty of the modern world, which should not be seen by a child. The little boy sat on the grave of his relatives and choked with tears. Our hero realized that his friend needs time to come to terms with everything, but in him appeared a wild desire for revenge. He must go on alone because all that will happen will be very dangerous for the baby. But he did not think so, he also wanted to go together, and with a furious look jumped on the shoulder of our hero. He wanted to avenge his family, otherwise he will never forgive himself. Despite the fact that he is a cute little tree, he already has a steely character and knows that for everything there must be a reckoning. The friends decided to set out to meet the unknown. They walked through a dilapidated city in search of the very demonic creature that needs to be destroyed. The hero decided to use his fast-traveling superpower to be stealthy. He was undetected and was able to successfully enter the gate. The evil aura has become more dense and extremely strong enough to force the monsters to a higher level. The boys need to investigate the place further to understand the origin of the evil aura. But it seems they've come to visit someone who wasn't expecting them very much. On their way, they encountered an altar that was formed by the intersection of black leaves and branches. The evil power gathered on this altar spreads throughout the forest of green moss. Inside is a huge corpse of a black trent, and it seems to be the source of all the power of the dark mutants in the forest. Our hero looked at everything that was happening from behind the wall. It all very much frightened him. Near the corpse stood an unusual-looking priest, who said that the sacrifice is almost finished, and when he takes all the power of the corpse, he will become king of the forest. Our little friend began to glow a bright green color, which means something. It seems the huge creature has begun to come to life, and the priest has just spotted our hero who is the intruder in the area. He pointed his staff in the direction of the guy, and our hero realized that his end is near. He stood and looked at everything that was happening in bewilderment. Fear stiffened his movements, and it seemed that his life was about to end. This terrible creature, which we call a priest, began to say that the man who killed his subordinates and the man who hinders him came of his own accord to sacrifice himself. Instantly, a bunch of guards rushed at our hero with the goal of bringing him back alive. The guy realized he had very little chance in this battle. Well, he was not going to give up. He took this unequal battle. There were too many creatures and our hero barely had time to sizzle each of them. At some point, the hero realized that he can no longer hold on and such a crowd of monsters he could not overcome alone. He decided that the best solution would be to destroy the one who commands this stupid-headed army. Our hero rushed to meet the danger without a drop of doubt. He realized that he is faster and stronger than this monster. Because it is a priest of the Black Triumph by profession, he is a magician. And as soon as you get closer, he is very easy to kill. Our hero came closer and closer. His body began to shake with fear. The priest swung his staff and was ready to strike the boy. The staff struck the ground with great force, creating an energy so strong that the ground began to crumble beneath it. The guy flew away to a great distance, realizing that this priest has great power and absolutely nothing inferior to the warrior. The priest was ready to destroy the man was only a couple of seconds before the crushing blow. Our hero looked into the face of his death and drops of sweat flowed down his face. Is it now the end of his life? Cannot cope with this strongest reaper. Now it will be decided. It will be decided in an unequal fight. Our hero clutched the crystal in his hands, realizing that he had no time to think now. He squeezed his hand with all his might, and the crystal burst, shattering into small shards. It seemed that our hero had gained the power to resist this monster. Indeed, his rank had increased thanks to this crystal. He had reached a new level, a level where he could destroy anyone. There was an explosion of tremendous power that seemed to destroy the altar. Flashes flew from the point of impact, a devastating rumble was heard, and rocks were flying in different directions. It seemed like it was all over. From the force of the blow and the spreading wave, the priest flew off in the opposite direction without releasing the staff from his hands. The hero was pleased with his actions and felt that his strength had actually increased and he was now a true E-class professional. An extraordinary and great power flowed through his veins. However, even such maneuvers were not quite enough to destroy the enemy and strike a fatal blow. After a crushing and powerful blow, the priest rose to his feet again and looked at the young man even more intimidatingly. 
Angry at the fact that a man dared to touch a powerful creature, the monster burst into violet flames and spreading his hands, was ready to tear the hero. But Bei Jing was expecting the attack. Preparing his flaming blade, such a turn was predictable, and the opponent's anger was even to the fighter's advantage, because it was in moments of anger that all weaknesses and flaws were seen. Soaring through the air, coiled in tongues of flame, and with extraordinary speed, the priest was ready to strike his staff at his opponent. The monster struck the ground with its weapon, shards of splintered earth flying out from beneath it. But the attacker could not strike the young man, because his speed was not worse, and he had time to react quickly and jump back. The hero analyzed in his mind that the speed of the enemy has improved significantly in a matter of minutes. The priest continued to advance, striking with his staff and trying to hurt Bi Jin, but he successfully dodged the attacks every time. But as it was, the hero was very fast, and moving behind the enemy's back, the young man dealt him three critical blows with his arcane fire fist. Watching the action of his power, the young man thought about the fact that the protection of this tree is too high, and it will be difficult to break it. Thus, it will be much more difficult to kill him. The monster withstood the enemy's blows and exhaled cold air and began to collect the magic sphere, putting its arm forward. Its pupils resembled the light of a laser, and many scratches from the blows were visible on its body. Immediately, the priest released his magic ball with a crushing speed directly at the young man. It was accompanied by purple lightning discharges, and a huge cloud gathered at the impact point of this ball, which blocked the view. This blow of the monster knocked the hero off his feet. He fell to the ground from the power of the blow. Bei Jing bowed his head to the ground and knelt down and tried to stand up. There was a purple enveloping space around him. The priest had said that after receiving the corrosion, the enemy would definitely be finished. But suddenly, a look of surprise appeared on the monster's face. But rising up and standing on one knee looking at the enemy with a killing look, the hero confidently said that he had the necessary physical strength to protect the most important part of the brain. And so the enemy caved in. But if the dark energy would have completely possessed him, then perhaps he would have immediately lost his mind. But the hero successfully mastered all the elements so he could easily fight back the haters. The actions and words of the young man made the monster very angry. He hated people and again flew at the hero with a thirst for murder. The attacks that the priest made with his staff couldn't kill Bi Yi Jin. He could easily dodge them. But the problem was that with each strike, the opponent was getting stronger and it was getting harder to kill him. The hero grabbed harder his sword that his parents had given him on his birthday, for his twelfth birthday. But this weapon was only F rank, so it would be difficult to shred the opponent's body with it. After landing on the ground, the hero began to quickly think over a plan of action, because it was impossible to delay. So the young man decided to attach an ice effect to his weapon. Perhaps then victory would be close. By fusing the hero obtained a short ice blade, the hilt had small ice crystals on it. The young man prepared to attack, one hand tortured by the flames of fire and the other wielding the chill of an ice weapon. The priest, swiftly striking with his staff with considerable speed, they flew into the hero, but he confidently reflected them. The monster, not noticing the approaching young man missed a blow, the hero struck several blows with his sword. At the point of impact, ice crystals began to appear at the enemy, shattering their defenses. The hero continued to mercilessly deliver one blow after another, soaring through the air and leaving ice crystals on the monster's shoulders. Bei Jing realized that, just about to be able to overpower his opponent, intending to strike with his flaming fist. As he struck the priest, he went bent over from the power of the blow, the ice crushed, and a terrifying explosion could be seen. Flashes of fire were now erupting from the front of the creature's body, where the young man had struck. There was now no piece of wood at the sight of the blow. The priest was surprised to see such strength from the young man. Dangerously and skillfully unwinding the dagger in his hand, the young man decided it was either now or never. Standing in a fighting stance that signified readiness for battle, the hero's gaze indicated confidence and determination. As he approached the priest, the young man struck a blow to the chest area. With a haughty look at the young man, the monster asked if he really thought he could eliminate him. With great speed, moving through the air, the priest headed straight for the huge sleeping tree. With a wave of his staff and damaging all the branches restraining it, he told the huge monster to wake up. The tree opened its eyes. The monster began to emit an intimidating loud roar a bit similar to the creaking of old wood, and its eyes, like the last opponent, resembled a red laser. The thug began to rise with a wild creaking sound, and on his leg stood the priest, speaking of once to die, two to one. The hero was confused by what he saw. A cold sweat ran down his face. He realized that the aura coming to him from the giant could only speak of one thing, that it was a D-rank monster. 
but he was definitely not ready for such a turn. Analyzing the situation, it seemed to the young man that all the evil energy of the moss forest was gathering around this monster. Glowing purple shreds began to fly near him. He was rather confused as he watched what was happening. After gathering all the evil energy into itself, the huge creature was able to stand up. It was now blazing with rage and looked more intimidating, its pupils burning with two red dots and shreds of the forest's nourishing energy twisted nearby. The young man was very upset. His problem was now more frightening. The former fire had faded a little in his eyes, and drops of cold sweat were dripping down his face. The girl sat beside her injured and sleeping comrades on her knees, covering them carefully with a cloth and awaiting their awakening. Lin Shi got a call that reinforcements would be arriving soon and was asked to wait for them. The girl was very tired and agitated. She explained her whereabouts, also warning that the danger level near them was reaching D level. She was told to hide well, and they would arrive at the place immediately. The connection was abruptly cut off. Lin Shi was very frightened. Her heartbeat increased, and she didn't understand what had happened and why the connection had gone astray. Raising her head, she arrived in even more shock. The girl nailed her back to a tree out of fear. In the sky, she saw a blazing earth tearing flash that was like an atomic explosion, and the sounds from what was happening were just as frightening as what she saw. The girl felt a ripping, strong aura of evil coming from the depths of the forest. Kneeling down, she was frightened and assumed that Bai Jing had something terrible happened, and he was the one involved in that scuffle. The huge monster was approaching the young man. Its body looked impenetrable, and its gaze was insane and directed only at the hero. The young man did not retreat a single step. Displaying an unsure weapon in front of him, he was ready to defend himself. Bai Jing was worried because the power level of this giant black Aryanth corresponded to D rank. But because it was gathering the dark aura of the forest every second, it could be said that its power was infinite. Also, the hero realized that if he didn't manage to kill the giant with one strike, then he was doomed. Mythic talent, heart of the brave, inhuman advancement, in a desperate situation, he can burn his blood and soul to increase combat power, maximum increase ten times. The hero, beside whom the fire was blazing, made a decision that he would go to any lengths, even if by burning blood he had to enter a state of weakness and continuing the battle in this way could kill him. The monster, after a brief pause, decided to attack the young man, raising both arms. The tree branches that looked more like wooden tentacles were coming towards the hero. The young man decided to use the heart of the brave. He inflamed as if he had entered a burning flame. His stance was more determined than usual, and grinning his teeth he decided to take the blow. The priest, observing the situation, chuckled evilly. The young man's gaze, just one look could destroy with his appearance. But suddenly, something overtook him. The branches of the giant struck directly into the priest's back. From the force of the blow, black blood spurted from his mouth. One problem whistled off to the side. The rumble was incredible. The priest raised himself up and leaned on one elbow, half alive, and asked why the monster was attacking a member of his own race. He was supposed to destroy the hated man. Not wanting to listen to the priest either, the tentacles finished him off, leaving no trace, only a shallow depression. The young man couldn't understand what was even happening now. The wooden monster came out from under his friend's vest and was also watching in surprise. After the priest, only his imprint remained on the ground. The huge monster was enraged. A huge flaming tribe gathered around it, and it let out a furtive roar that echoed throughout the forest. Huge branches were crushing everyone of similar appearance. No one understood what the reason was. The hero was shocked by such a giant strength. It was even more terrifying than he had imagined. The huge tree, after destroying all of its nearby congeners, began to move even closer to the young man. Wary and preparing for battle, the young man once again used his brave heart technique, drops of cold sweat rolling down his cheeks. The giant's eyes once again glared fiercely at the young man, and everyone was ready for the real fight to begin. But little groom jumped out from under his friend's clothes and climbed on top of his head, showing a sign with his hands for the giant to stop. The young man looked at his friend in surprise, trying to understand why his friend was doing this. The little guy's big eyes burned bright green, and despite his size, the spirit of a true fighter emanated from him. Pointing his hand at the young man and the little hero, the giant paused his strike. The young man used the Braveheart technique to its maximum, a power tenfold. But the hero's attack was interrupted again. He was very surprised at what was happening. Huge branches instead of a hero pierced their master. Such an event resembled suicide. The hole that the tentacles had made began to glisten, saying that the monster had been struck in a place of particular vulnerability. The giant slumped to the ground. Spheres with many different pictures began to fly out of his see-through. 
Groom gazed at each one with dazed eyes and guessed that it was their memories, realizing that there was such a pure aura within the spirit of the dead tree. Looking into the spheres, they saw the trees die. From the dark power of the priest, they suffered greatly in their last moments, falling to their knees in pain and clutching their heads. The priest ordered his puppets to deliver to him the sacred object of this settlement, and if anyone suddenly exemplified the baptism of dark power, he would release him. The proud fighters of the tribe stood bravely, defending their land and their families from the invading savages. A man, an important member of the tribe, left his family in the sphere in the tree, with the words that his baby is a hero to the Trant tribe, and he hopes the sacred object can protect them and help them through this disaster. After that, the priest pointed his murderous staff at the fighter, which also sucked out the energy of the living body like the others. But the fighter, despite everything, continued to stand firmly on his feet and hold the attack. The puzzle in the hero's mind began to take shape, and with a frown on his brow, he pondered the fact that this was how the little boy had become a tree spirit, thanks to this brave and great fighter. Groom, remembering all that had happened, cried loudly and bitterly. His childish crying made his heart break and his soul weep. Suddenly, that brave fighter and the father of the baby appeared in the air. He told his son not to be sad and that he should continue to live no matter what. He stroked his baby in a caring and soothing way. The spirit asked the man to take care of his child. His smile was very friendly and sweet. It was obvious that this being could not wish harm to anyone. Bowing in agreement, the young man took great responsibility for the baby's life and health. While saying and addressing the fighter with the words that even though he is not human, he is still a brave man whom the latter respects, so he will gladly fulfill the fighter's request. The hero disappeared, and Groom, with tears in his eyes, continued to sit on the head, now not only a friend, but roughly speaking, an older brother. Near a tree with carved signs and as if tied in an ooze, a bunch of small bright lights were flying. Groom got down from his friend, and coming to this tree wept bitterly, covering his face with his hands, while the young man stood by his side with a drooping face, not retreating a step from his friend, and not leaving him alone with his grief. The tree was made up of two other trees that intertwined with each other, and almost at the root a portal formed, brightly illuminating the space. The young man approached the priest's lifeless body, more like a footprint, examining it closely and marveling at the process of mutation in the mossy forest. Touching the body, the hero marveled that there really was a lot of good in this shaman. The dead body of the mage began to disappear, leaving a helmet, bracelet, and armor, looking at which the young man was glad, because they could still be used. After picking up the black bark, the hero said that it was also not a bad material and would definitely come in handy, and he didn't need the cane, so he could sell it on the black market. Now, what puzzled the young man was not fighting mages or intimidating giants, but how he could take so many things with him and carry them. Dropping to one knee again and looking at what was left of the deceased, he noticed a gleaming piece of cloth. Taking the thing in his hands, the hero smiled happily. It was a grass skirt that turned out to be a space pocket. Opening his pocket, many necessary items flew out. A book, a thief's dagger, a dozen mid-level dark star stones, and they would be of great help to the professional level D rank. But the main treasure was still this space pocket, so the young man was madly glad for such a find. But the hero was surprised that such things were then forgotten from a monster, not even of D rank. It was very suspicious and strange. But with a nod of disdain, he muttered that it was also sown from grass rather horribly. The groom returned to the young man. He was very sad and wrinkled. The man asked if he had said goodbye to his family, but the little fellow only murmured affirmatively and nodded his head. Jumping onto his friend's shoulder, Beijing and Groom traveled onward on their journey. The hero carefully petted the little one, calling him a strong boy and told him to follow him, because now it was his duty to teach him good things. The tree, rustling its leaves, also said goodbye to the heroes. Finally, the ringing voice became clear. The caller excitedly told Miss Lin Shi that there were some malfunctions and the danger level had reached level D. And above, also asked to urgently take cover and they would immediately arrive. The girl was stunned at such words. After the phone was hung up, the girl jumped up and worried about her new friend, as she called him, Brother B.I., because he still hadn't returned. But a moment later, she noticed a traveling, bullet-like trail landing from one tree to another. The girl immediately realized that it was the long-awaited B.I. Jing. Her joy was unbounded, and a smile spread across her face. Flushed, she excitedly told the young man that the rescue team had reported a terrible mutation deep in the forest and asked if B.A. had encountered any danger along the way. The young man, looking at the girl in surprise, asked if the rescue team would be arriving now. Also addressing the girl, but already sitting next to the victims, he asked her if she remembered the promise she had made to her. 
Beijing lay down next to the team, and the girl stood dumbfounded. A pile of shadows of some kind was coming at people at a tremendous speed. Finally, the rescue team arrived. The girl thanked Deacon Gong for arriving. The rescuer was telling Lin Shi that he was glad she was alive and well. Now she should follow the rescue team and return to the camp together. The heroes decided to follow to the deep part of the forest, because they had to, at least for the sake of interest, well investigate the source of the mutation that excited everyone. The girl stood watching the disappearing figures of the rescuers. Camping for professionals in the suburbs, small carriages were placed outside. After Bi Yai helped Lin move her team into the healing room, and after being with her for a bit, intended to leave. But the girl asked him to wait. Turning to Lin Shi with a haughty face, the young man told her to ask her captain to directly give him the reward for the exploration mission. The girl was shocked by this answer and it made her a little angry. From the badge came a voice asking if the girl had met any other professionals while she was in the moss forest. Cold sweat rolled down Lin Shi's face. She replied that she hadn't met anyone in the forest and asked what happened and why the deacon was interested in it. The men approached the cliff and analyzing the situation said that it was probably some team of D-rank professionals or masters. The girl was very surprised by what she heard because Bi Jing just technically couldn't arrange such a thing. As his strength had only recently awakened, there were more and more questions. The hero walked down the street near the community of professionals. All the houses were neat and like one, pondering that even with this batch of mid-level dark stars, and even if there was no shortage of cultivation resources, the problem would be in the purification as it required a lot of effort. Continuing to think about his problems and their solutions, telling himself that he had been a bit lucky in the adventure after all, also, a tribute should be paid to his developed skills. He wandered around, looking at the passing houses and people. Taking his will in his fist, he realized that he would also have to learn the other official skills of other professions as soon as possible. But it would be difficult to get them without exposing himself, so that would have to be decided as well. The groom showed himself out of the young man's vest, making the same sounds again. But now he was asking for food. The hero checked if the kid was hungry, he nodded positively and the young man promised that when he returned home, he would cook something delicious, gently stroking the kid's head. Suddenly, Bi Jin's attention was intercepted by a man standing beside the truck and commanding the workers. This man was Song Kian Community Manager of Professionals, wearing a suit, a neatly tied tie, hair neatly combed, and rectangular glasses that only magnified his nose. The young man was definitely not happy to meet this person, as he knew that after Fang Bin's death, Song Kian had taken over the Bai family's villa as his own, and it looked like today he was buying furniture for his new home. Song shrieked loudly, noticing Bai Jin wanting to talk to him, and mentioning that the villa was now his and living in it must be really good. The hero smiled falsely and replied that he needed time to enjoy the beauty of the house. But in fact, inside the young man was saying how dare someone dare, after so many years to answer him so arrogantly, also telling the hater to wait because he had very little time left the hero chuckled. Our hero stood on the threshold of a large city and looked thoughtfully into the distance. All the people were in a hurry, all had their own things to do, so our hero came here for one purpose. But he was diverted from his deep thoughts by a small companion waving his head very unhappily. The creature didn't seem to like the earthly food that was offered to it. While our hero was distracted, the creature threw away the earth burger so he wouldn't have to smell its horrible odor anymore. Looks like earth food really isn't to this little thing's taste. In front of the guy was a very interesting pavilion that seemed to be able to get food useful for Groom. But entering the pavilion, the guy was met by a huge queue that seemed to be absolutely not going to move. But suddenly, our hero's gaze fell on the door of the appraiser, to whom there was absolutely no line. On the door hung a sign that warned everyone who entered that in order to get to the reception, it was necessary to pass some tests. The guy turned around and saw the guard opposite him who was a mid-level specialist. Is it really necessary to defeat him first? But the guy was determined and it seemed like absolutely nothing could stop him. The guard smilingly looked at our hero, happy that there was another daredevil who wanted to be beaten up. The man showed our hero a diagram of a set of spiritual power that was created by the owner of the store if someone manages to solve it. The store gives all the things absolutely free. And if someone fails to pull it off, they will receive three deadly blows from the guard. The guy silently looked at the chart, assessing his chances of winning because the offer was very tempting. The guard's nerves were on edge. He didn't like the fact that our hero was thinking for a very long time and couldn't make a decision. Our hero was not so stupid, realized that this test was not the owner of the store. They are just looking for a very smart and strong warrior who can cope with this mystery. He grabbed our hero by the shirt and seemed about to lift him into the sky. How dare that little brat think that about his boss? 
This is a chart that is very rare and can help magicians with special talents prevent disorder in their spiritual energy when they move to the next level. However, the creator of this chart had problems with the movement of spiritual power in his body. The guy realized that the cost of opening this chart was nothing compared to a free appraisal of some equipment in the store, which made the guard even more angry. The man's patience had run out and his eyes were bloodshot. An energy of unprecedented power began to form in his hands. But the guy was absolutely not frightened by this. He just kept asking provocative questions about his mistress. And after a moment, a huge fist flew towards our hero. A couple more seconds and he will reach the desired point. But this was not destined to come true, as the guard was called by a beautiful woman with delicate violet eyes. Yes, it was the owner of the store. The guard almost cried when he saw her. Apparently, she had a lot of power over him. Before our hero appeared a beautiful girl of angelic appearance with lush forms and long blonde hair, she was very much in need of a man who can solve this diagram, and our hero seemed to be able to help her in this. Our hero boldly moved towards the adventure. He will be able to do what is necessary to the shopkeeper. Except that Putin is once again obstructed by an insolent security guard who doesn't seem to get it the first time. Well, our hero was not so simple either. He showed the guard his essence and assured him that he would not be able to fight him. The man realized that he was wrong. Our hero's aura was very strong and he could crush the guard with one finger so the man should think again before saying anything against him. He only had to bow his head to our hero and admit all his mistakes. Yes, of course it's very flattering, but it may not end with a simple change. Boldly, he opened the door and walked into the office as if it were his home. Almost instantly, a man fell on his knees in front of him, asking for forgiveness after realizing all his mistakes. All present were puzzled. They were very curious who this young man was, if even the arrogant guard apologizes to him falling on his knees. All the attention of our hero was fixed on the beautiful girl who took off her hood and showed her beautiful appearance to the world. She only apologized for the rudeness of her subordinate. Her apology was very sincere, and it really seemed like only our hero could help them. The guy was flattered. It had been a long time since he had been apologized to by such high-ranking officials. A picture from the past popped up in our hero's mind. This girl was already familiar to him. When he was still a supporter of the first-ranked faith, she was his comrade with whom he had lived life and death moments together. Could this woman be his descendant? The only question on our hero's mind was, what was her name? The girl humbly bowed her head and said that her name was Jo In, and if our hero helped her cure her illness, she would be grateful to him for the rest of her life. In the guy's head, it all came together. He really knows her. But before the guy can help her, she has to pay him and value the items he has. The girl took a pause for thought. Her assistant tried to change her mind. Could this brat cure her? Could he be a murderer sent by the family to hurt the mistress? The girl furrowed her eyebrows and looked at her servant with a completely blank stare. Our hero was able to assess her condition incredibly accurately and say something that a simple person could not know. Apparently, he could be trusted. The girl realized that if her family found out about the condition of her current body, there could be trouble, so this situation needed to be dealt with as quickly as possible. She has no other choice whenever she has an opportunity for treatment she must take it. Our hero sat down opposite the beautiful lady and asked her to tell the whole story from beginning to end. The girl took off the top of her clothes and showed the guy something he didn't expect to see. On her chest was the magic circle. That circle began to reflect in the guy's eyes and his amazement seemed to have no limit. There are several types of spiritual power kits that can be used for combat or other auxiliary functions. The mage's body is very weak, and when he progresses, he often requires the help of special spiritual power kits to channel the spiritual energy that flows intensely in the body. Our hero understood absolutely everything. He looked at the girl with great surprise. She was the best example and model of bodily spiritual strength. The beauty was thrown sharply into a sweat. All those words that the guy spoke seemed very surprising to her. Could she really be that sick? What she didn't know was that there were only a few like her in this world. After all, a specimen of bodily spiritual power was a type of gold-ranked professional talent, and it would be able to transform once she reached a higher rank. Things started to fall into place in her mind. You realize that everything that was happening to her before was a sign of her body's transformation. They sat across from each other in silence until our hero spoke. All that the girl has is very rare and usually inherited, so her ancestors were great mages who possessed a talent of the golden rank. But it all seemed like a trap. Had a girl with such great power never heard of it? Well, as it turned out, there was a great aunt who was a great magician a long time ago. She died of serious wounds as a result of fighting a very powerful monster. 
many things she could not explain, promised beauty that he would teach her a technique for circulating spiritual power called three consciousness spiritual auras. And if she could master this technique, all her physical wounds would heal naturally. The girl fell to her knees and seemed about to kiss the ground. She could not believe that anyone could help her, but grace seemed to fall from heaven upon her. A guard came into the room and he was very surprised and excited about everything that was going on here. His mistress sat silently emitting a violet aura. It seemed that she was about to open a portal to other dimensions. Our hero watched all this and was very interested, for he had never had to face such strong people before. In an instant, a sphere of pure energy of bluish color was released from the girl's body and headed to meet our hero. He'd never seen anything like it in his life. His eyes seemed about to pop out of his orbits. He decided to try to use this energy, because maybe he would never be able to try something like this again in his life. He had not felt such a fierce force in his body for a long time. His heartbeat was racing. His muscles were like stone. He realized that just now he was able to obtain a medium-level Dark Star Stone very quickly. It seems that with the spiritual power that overflows from this girl, the absorption speed of the intermediate Dark Stone has increased tenfold. Now he can get the maximum benefit from it. He has to perfect all these mid-level dark stones that will help him move on. This girl will help him become a mid-level professional. Almost instantly, the absorption of the strongest energy began. At this moment, his body was incredibly strong. As long as he was strong enough, all of his current problems would be solved directly. There's just one small problem. His body isn't strong enough to fully support that energy right now. His temples stabbed, and his brain felt like it was going to explode. If he didn't stop absorbing it now, his body would explode. Well, it seemed not only he could explode right now, that sickly beauty is about to open portals to other dimensions. Her power at this point is limitless, and nothing can stop her. The strongest energy was consuming the guy's body with incredible power. He tried to cope with it and hold it in, but it broke free. Indeed, such power has never before been seen by mankind. He was able to catch spiritual formation with spiritual threads and hold them within him. A mark appeared on his body which meant that he was able to master this skill. My head was spinning and my thoughts were jumbled. A side effect of such power, it seemed. But he was able to achieve this, according to the method of bodily spiritual power. This power creates a spiritual formation, which is then sealed in the body, and thus one can avoid the danger that it will destroy his body. And secondly, the energy of the spiritual power formation can be utilized at any time. Well, now he has a huge responsibility, because he has not fully adapted to his current body, if he makes any mistake in the battle, it could lead to his death. There was no limit to the girl's happiness. She realized that the chaotic spiritual power formation had been completely organized, and now the spiritual power in her body had increased, and she could become a top-ranked professional. She threw herself into the arms of our hero, and it seemed that just a little more, and she would crush him with her beautiful body. The guard who caught the scene was in complete shock. He fell to his knees before his mistress for now she had even more power over him. He begged the boy to forgive him, for he did not believe that this young impudent man could cure her. He begged to be punished for doubting him. Only our hero was not interested in these humiliations, because he treated the mistress not for free, he was interested in the question of reward for this treatment. The man placed on the table a box that contained a list of all the items he could provide to our hero. There was indeed a great deal of usefulness there, and our hero would have to think very hard. But he immediately spotted a magical dagger, but even that doesn't compare to his epic equipment from his past life. Taking the items as a thank you, our hero hurried out of the store. People watching all this was in complete shock because how this young guy was able to get the goddess to leave the store, yes, and even say goodbye to him, before this has not been able to absolutely no one. And our hero was walking down the street smiling at passersby with a sense of accomplishment. Suddenly the thought popped into your head that he'd completely forgotten the food for his best friend. Yes, that little tree was ready to burst out of the pocket. The creature went into a spatial pocket and greedily ate all that our hero had gained by hard work. The creature's main meal is the spiritual potions our hero received. Our hero got into one of the halls, but he was still not left with the thought that the small creature drank what he needed. This little tree is now absorbing so much magic, but it can be hoped for in the future. Perhaps it will become a magical creature that can help our hero very much. One of the mere mortals had been very persistent in calling the guy out to exchange talented professional skills, but it didn't seem to be of any interest. Why would a person who possesses great power and energy share his experience with some newbies? Also, the rewards for these encounters are very low, and you can get a lot more if you just do the quests. Well, as soon as the man held out a sheet of awards, our hero was very nervous. 
because the rewards for this meeting one million boxes of spirit potions. The boy eagerly snatched the sheet from his hands and shouted that he would not let anyone down and would definitely win first place at this meet. But the man had only caused laughter, because our hero has recently become a professional. Now he has absolutely no chance to win the first place. Our hero slowly walked away realizing that now absolutely no one knows about his secret abilities. City of Dawn Martial Arts field martial arts professionals meeting to exchange professional talents. I agree with the rules only professionals under 20 years old with outstanding achievements can participate. In addition, all of the talents of these professionals must be silver level or higher. Although Dawn City isn't a very big place, the martial arts field is built quite grandly. The people there were not very happy that our hero, who had only recently become a professional, dared to come here. The referee announced the start of the meeting, as almost all the guilds were in place. People according to their order numbers would enter the stage to fight and show off their skills. Our hero's comrades were very excited that he has no special skills and wants to fight at the meeting of professionals. Only our hero was not particularly interested in other people's opinions. He was confident in his abilities. But his first opponent was very pleased that his first opponent is so weak. Knight rank, he was ready to tear our hero to shreds, and as he thought he would not have much trouble doing so. But there was a sudden blow to his face that ruined absolutely all his plans. Never underestimate your opponent because you can pay for it very much. The resulting blow was so crushing that the knight even flipped in the air a few times. As he fell to the ground, he realized that he had been completely wrong to underestimate his opponent. All the people who were there absolutely did not understand how this rookie was able to knock out such a high-ranked knight with a single punch. But this chubby boy's honor was very much hurt, and he realized that he must get revenge by all means our hero caught him off guard and hit him when he wasn't ready. The guy realized that this knight was capable of absolutely nothing but making stupid excuses for his failures. The knight decided not to hesitate for a second and rushed into battle, for he must show true strength. He had absolutely no choice because if he lost now, he would be disgraced in front of everyone. Well, our hero was not going to give up because he must prove his power to everyone. With one skillful movement of his hand, he was able to repel the fatal blow. People didn't understand how this madman could not use his weapon, but use his fist to resist a knight's sword. Except that this fire fist was able to throw the knight a great distance away and leave him absolutely no chance. The knight fell to the ground completely unaware of what was happening. How could this guy's fist be so strong? The fight was over, and the referee announced that our hero had won by a huge margin. The greatest warriors stood there with their mouths hanging open for this young talent had just recently entered professional practice, and now he could do things that even the greatest masters could not do. Our hero's friends were puzzled, because not long ago he did not possess such talents, but now he has a golden talent that can strengthen his body. At the moment of the melee, he accurately hit his fist with a useful nightball and used his strong physical strength in the game's one-punch fight, and it was amazing. The top-ranked archer didn't understand how his friend was able to obtain the same gold-level skills almost as soon as B.I. Jin obtained them. The girl was confused and didn't know what to say to him. Our gold-ranked hero at this time continued his battles. Another opponent was knocked out by his magic fist. The opponents had absolutely no chance of winning the skill of a gold-ranked grandmaster was invincible. People were whispering behind his back, which gave him a lot of pleasure. After all, he was a man with no special powers yesterday but now he could destroy great masters with a single blow of his fist. At one point, he decided to reprimand those insolent men who only know how to whisper behind their backs. Today, he's ready to take on any opponent and prove his skill. The referee was already ready to announce a new bout in which our hero would participate. His opponent will be a genius from the Guild of Knights who has been watching the duels all this time and decided to try his hand. This guy is a gentleman of the highest rank with a bright future, and in this fight, he was considered the clear favorite. In our hero, absolutely no one believed. Everyone thought that now his teeth will fly all over the battlefield. Even the friends of our hero were not very confident in his victory, because to overcome such a famous knight will not be able to everyone. Well, nothing motivated a guy like people's insecurities about him. His eyes burned a hellish blue fire, and he was ready to destroy. The rivals stood opposite each other, morally preparing for the fight. The knight shouted a lot of bad words at our hero, apparently, to break him morally. Well and our hero did not stay away showing complete disrespect for his rival, his coward and loser, who absolutely nothing achieved himself, and achieved everything thanks to his older brother. It pissed the man off and seems to be exactly what our hero needed. People were ready to watch the guy get beaten up, after all. If you insult a knight, you are bound to be killed. Everyone took their seats and counted the seconds until the battle began. The knight rushed into the fray, shouting to our hero that he would turn him into a meat stew. 
It seemed that this knight's strength was boundless, and the guy had absolutely no chance. People realized that the knight would use his most recent developments, such as successive attacks with the sacred spear, which means that he has reached a higher level and he is a true genius in the profession of knight. And our hero realized that this spear-throwing technique is of a very high rank, which means this fight won't be easy enough. But he was ready for anything. He has to prove to people that he is the best fighter in this world. Their weapons clashed and there was a clang of metal that deafened everyone around them. A brutal bloody war has been started and only one will come out of it alive. And who will win? We will soon find out.